completely And if it. I was a distributor, I still wouldn't tell you to do it. But since I own it, <laughs> <laughs> please. But also, I wasn't going to switch up the drink. Yeah, you no, I wasn't either. We got to do wine. Wine with a good straw is fire. No, it's not. It's you don't drink. No, no, but you don't magic. drink good wine. wine. <laughs> good wine with a good straw. <laughs> so the wine is trash. It's like you're gonna be wishing the straw had well, a look, taste. The straw is always gonna be good on my side. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're talking straw. about. What's the name oh, of this? You talk about the baby <laughs> leg straw. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I'm Wait, talking about that, uh, I, not that straw. Not it that. was a cylinder object. No. Okay. <laughs> my bad. You know what? But I do want to get back to real quick. A cylinder object. All cylinder objects. You gotta say pause, and you just think of dick. So a straw is one of those. No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't think, think. <laughs> I, don't. I don't think that's not where my brain goes. But it's I think like, straws. I don't think that. <laughs> no. What? If this was a family feud question, it would be wrong. <laughs> 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 that's not what we're doing. <laughs> but no, before we started the pod, I know we were talking about shit. We we said pillow talking. Oh god. And how that goes and. So, Ryan, guys, let me introduce him first. Fly Ryan. Hmm. So, guys, we do have a guest joining us today. We have someone to speak for the male congregation. Ooh, Can good. I get an amen? amen? Can I get a amen. hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can I get a round of applause? Yeah. Ladies, make that ass clap. <laughs> and hands on the knees. <laughs> and then I, hey, hey. I haven't learned all the goddamn words to make song yet, but I am. I'm okay. going to learn it. All right. Um, but now nah, we got Ryan joining us today. He is one third of a podcast and he does just a lot of other shit too. Yo, <laughs> the no, guys I'm next one third door. of the guys next door. He's one third of the guys <laughs> next door. We're going pod. to keep this at a minimum. <laughs> and yes, that is my podcast. Uh, but he's a, a mutual friend of both Bridget and I. Yeah. Bridget's known him for uh, way longer than I have. And I have... Known Loved Ryan for, since I met him. You've known me for years now, too. It's <laughs> I've known him for a few years, years now, now, now too. Now it's years. Um, and so upon meeting Ryan, let me tell you, actually, uh, can, I, can I open up how I really got introduced to Ryan a little bit? So I was with one of my homegirls, and y'all know I love <laughs> fucking my friends. So I was with one of my new homegirls, and I was putting dibs on her. She was staying at my house one weekend. We got mutual friends. And Ryan here was like, yo, tell her I said what's up. And I said, yo, chill. That's all me. <laughs> I had to let him know. Like, she did. chill. Because I thought, I thought Ryan was trying to swoop in on me. <laughs> Not, swoop swoop. In. <laughs> Not only did he swoop, he <laughs> goddamn shot from the other end of the court and made it in because that bitch didn't. She was texting him the rest of the weekend. And wow. I didn't know that there was already a rapport there. Wow. Say, man. And she just let me know, oh, he said, hi, let me hit him up. She was making plans wow. before she could leave my house to go see this man That's right big here. Aries energy. I'm I not like mad that. at that at all. No, bitch, it's big dick energy. And I was just like, damn it. <laughs> hey, Ryan, Something I don't know how, I how my strap is in accordance to you, but whatever you're doing over there, I cannot do. It's all right, it's all right. But the question before the pod, Ryan was just like, damn, how do you be knowing all of my interactions with all of your homegirls? And I was like, well, I think... For one, but also all of the homegirls. Uh, no, 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 no. I mean, no, no, no. Okay. I mean, probably, probably about, that. Okay. Probably about three or four. Like, that's not. No, it's nope, not. Like five, six, no, five, six, eight. No, you, you got like you got like two in your head. Three or four isn't bad. But Anything she has, more than but, four. But she only little, has like two. Okay. Well, and I, I'll say a silent three just because she might pull a rabbit. Out there out. is a silent three. <laughs> <laughs> silent three, might. four possible, possible four. Uh oh, something dropped. But no, silent three, four and a four and a possible. Four three and, and a possible. Three, I would say three and a I'll possible. I'll say two and a possible. Let's not stretch it. Okay. We're not okay. going to stretch it. All right. But in all the details that I know, Ryan was just like, yo, how do you be knowing? Like, Because I don't talk. Yeah, you're not a talker. But I told him, I was like, well, my friends know I'm a sexual person. And I think that that is girl code time. I think that's a way that girls mm -hmm. try to temperature check if... They friends are fucking with the same guy because they've seen me and hit, like we like each other's pictures. Yeah, cool. They've seen us now like, you know, just out and about. And I or think Or if they've heard anything. It's not always they the same. Wanna know, they want to know. They want to know. They want to know if the if, friend if that the they bring to was, is smashing. If the stories was that deep that she told you or whoever the girl told you, they wanted some might want to just find out. But also, mm. but also want to know if you know anything, because I've definitely been in that situation where a girl will gush to me and it's very clear, like, you know, I know this guy and you saying this to me, like, like, you, like cause you like him now. Oh. So now you want to know if I know because he's my friend, if I know it, who mm. else he's fucking with, who else True. he's talking to, True. whatever, whatever, whatever. So you oh, really, I didn't even think what you're it really like looking that. for is the resume. You're really looking for the backstory on... Well, who, you know, what's his, what's his deal? What's, what's his, deal? his deal? That's true. But with me, it's like. And I hate that. Really, I hate that too. I'm it's really that. hard to get 
a backstory on me because we talked about me living in different states and traveling my whole life. It's like, yeah, I know a lot of people by default, but it's not, I'm not out there with my whole program. Like, yo, look, here's my, it's like, you're not going to find that out. And if you do find it out, it's somebody's talking and it's not me. Right. But to but be, also, but it's, to be it's, fair, it's everyone easy. Talks. It's easy for that. To, it's easy for you to be a man in that space and that exists because your network is so vast that if you were a woman and your network was as vast, the only connections everybody would make is would be that she's fucking somebody. She's fucking at least one person you're in right. every room that she's you're in. Right. You're right. So when you do, when you're as, as, you know, your network is as versatile as it is. Every woman who might even might even think your that your potential you could be boyfriend partner mm-hmm. potential is like is considering, well, how many bitches has he fucked in all these different but circles? That, and I, you know what I'm saying? And it's and it's I mean every woman at some point in time turns into Nancy Drew. There's just I'll no way you, around it. But I hate that. I hate that I know statement because this statement you. is just like, yo, I know you be fucking all these bitches. And so my number one my reply is, so who am I fucking? And right. there is no response. And there's no response. There's no oh, yeah, answer. Because nobody names. really knows. I'll, you no, know, but there's some girls. You, yeah, I don't but, drop but names. But to a girl that I'm not fucking, they could drop names because it's like we can have that conversation. Right, right, right. But right, to right. a girl that wants to fuck me, yeah. they don't have, no, they really have no name. So it's just in their head that because I'm around a lot of females and I'm in an industry with a lot of right. women around that I'm automatically doing this. But if you, I'll tell you, if you can't pinpoint and, and say this, so I can either say yes or no, because I'm going to keep it real. Ooh, I got a question, Ryan. I got an answer. Have, oh. I know you do. <laughs> have Have you ever like been around a, a, a group of girls or just, you know, and I'm sure they're acquaintances, but maybe you've had sex with one <clears throat> and because she ran her mouth, another came at yep, you like, absolutely. I heard what it was and her trying to figure out what it was like. I'll tell you, it's happened with girls, but it really happened more with niggas. Wow. Wait, what you mean? Like, I'll, I'll be talking to a girl and, and nothing even happened between us, but a nigga will think that I'm fucking her. So he'll tell her like, yo, I know you fucking this nigga. So the girl hit me like, yo, you know this nigga really thinks... Or a girl would be like, yo, I wanted to talk to you, but homeboy kept saying wow. like, yo, you know, he, but he does talk to a lot of girls, da, da, da. And I'm like, so by the time it comes back to me, it's like, I already know you want to fuck with me now. Aww. Just off... Just, just off, off of somebody... Just, just off, off, GP, off of somebody like, else just being pressed about you. Like if somebody's pressed about you, somebody really want to be like, on a yeah. woman's half, it's like, why Why is she so pressed about him? I'm going to find right. out. Right. And for a, a, on a dude telling a girl like, don't fuck with him on the same, she's like... Why are you so worried about another nigga? You should be worried about me. Matter of fact, I'm going to go see what I should be worried about. Right. Oh. Mm. See what I'm saying? So it's like, it's I'm bad. Go it don't see what I should be worried about. You shouldn't go about it that way. Like, if you care about somebody and you know me, be like, yo, I care about them. Like, that's that's how I do with my friends. Yeah. If I see a girl and I'm like, yo, you used to talk to her, you be like, yeah, but like, yo, you care. Like, if, if I know it's not that deep, if it's that deep, I'm never going to get to that question. But if it's just some, yeah, you really care because she's coming at me. Oh, no, nah, it's regular. Cool. Be honest and keep that shit on the table because the minute you're not, I am going to get it. And you're going to think I'm not. This is why the streets are complicated and I hate that I'm back in. <sighs> no, you don't. This is complicated. It's not. not. This is, I, I do hate that I'm it's back in It's all about streets. communication and honesty. If you put yeah, those but, on the table, yeah, you'll but, never but, lose. But, but that is, to be very fair, the problem, Ryan. But People, also, A, don't know true. how to communicate. And and B, we just had the conversation last, yeah. last week about how soon niggas start lying. So mm. honesty... Really is What's the number thing? one lie? What's the first number one lie? It's like you the only one I'm fucking. Mm. That is lie because that's them niggas just, still say that. Niggas still say that because they don't want to use a condom. See, and I'm a condom master oh, from Nebraska. I, 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 couldn't no. get no faster. Condom I, master I, I, from I don't. Nebraska. I don't play. You guys, my friends. Like my friends, are like yo, Rob. I know you got a condom. It's like yes, I do. Like I, I, I don't play with my life. <laughs> Me too, my friends. And my, if I and I have variety. Yes, and if I, have I, I don't have options, I'm starting to get into the to the worlds of. Di- you but, have to, because I'm going to tell you now, Ryan, and to all the men listening, please listen. I know what you're You pull say. out the gold one, I we not happy. We are not happy with that gold wrapper. Not the thin joint? That shit The gold stink. thin? It doesn't matter. The gold thin don't really have Now my that. pussy smell like fucking condom so what's your for go-to? a half a day. Like a lifestyle or something. Them shits, it's not. Nice. What? Still, lifestyle you is go, it. You, you might as well go rip. NYC. You got, no, no. <laughs> the 311. <laughs> what We are not the 311. up. So like anything they gave bad. you in that bag at the after you go to like, well, after you go get after you yeah, go for yeah, anything no, in that test, bag is not good. They, have, they, give it they give you one free. magnum lifestyle in that joint. You had to get bare, three bags. They have three. the bare skin joints, the rib joints, the hot and cold joints. Like, and to be fair, I did like a little like a little experiment on IG Live. Mm-hmm. Whole fist went in it. So a nigga can't sit here and tell me I'm too big, man. But, uh, no, for, whole fist went in it. Right, I'll say this. I can only speak for myself. It I really, really wish that I would have caught you putting really your fist in the condom It one don't line. really be like the, like, when a condom is like, they be like, yo, I can't fit this shit. It's like, it's not even that you can't fit it. It's that the shit be mad tight. Like, yeah, but your so, shit can't, your shit, and, and that is the, water that's the structure. But so are cock rings. Like, and I don't use them. 
Mm. I'm good. Well, okay. I'm good. You good, love? I'm fine. All right. Well, for now, you know where we starting and how we start in this motherfucking podcast. Welcome to see the thing is. <laughs> Speaking of things being blown. Hey. <laughs> oh. Y'all know we had to start it off like this. Oh, hey. this is. Oh, yeah. I can hear this one. Yeah. Shake it. Yeah, 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 you know this But not too flashes. many. We're not, not going to do this. We're not going to like do this. like three, maybe four. We're not going to do this. We're not. We're not. We starting already with that? Chill. <sighs> we got one good club DJ, but you know he only comes for a half hour. The good, the main <laughs> joint is like 30 minutes. This is the Max. song that, this is the song that plays the first 15 minutes the club is open. OD. First 15 minutes. Oh, when they're trying to kick you out. Right. <laughs> Actually, that is Candy Rain, okay? Or Candy Rain. Candy. Yeah, damn, that was all off beat. But oh, yeah, yeah, it was. was. I so get right. it. Hold on. But y'all thought we was just going to do that? No. Let me, let, me, let me get that out. We going to another song, baby. Because <laughs> y'all know bitch you know motherfucking do. <laughs> you know yet. By the way, I want to <laughs> say this, is, this is Trina two weeks in a row. Shout out 47 Chopper City. Blah, blah, blah. Shout out to everybody in the 305, 954. I fuck with Florida music too. When Me? I was in school, my number one co- in college it. song yeah. was No, you uh, know Nan nigga. You know na be that sexy girl. Uh, yeah, that know, was you my You don't know all that. <laughs> what? Excuse me? You don't even know the words of this. A gun all in your mouth, bitch. Oh boy, your motherfucking Nan. brains out. Mm, mm, mm. Damn. I really wanna uh first off, I really wish I could have like uh went all the way to Trina's part. Because Trina, you know me. That been place I be in for about five, six best friends. Why was I yelling that? Literally, I think I said that last week yeah, at, at like twelve. Fuck I was fuck about five, six, six best friends, and I ain't gonna hold you. you really think I like crew loving. I can't help that niggas be five trying to be or friends. Six? I, five or I, six I, I've never done five or six. What's the matter? I, 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 I actually had this conversation yeah, the other day. I think. Okay, wait. Somebody so, tried to define a hoe to me. Okay, so so Ooh. crew loving. Well, crew loving to you. I want to ask. What is the max group of girls depends you on how, in, a, in a crew? It depends on how big my crew is. Like my immediate circle, okay. it's like, I mean, they kind of spread out across do you, the country. Do you count bodies or you count relationships and bodies, though? Ooh, good question. I mean, I'm never... He said he ain't never in relationships. I, I'm sorry. But I, <laughs> oh, you mean like relationship with somebody they fucked with? Yeah, like defining a hoe. Like, I'm not, I know, I'm I know not, girls that have been in really fast, really intense relationships with a lot of, with a lot of dudes. What is fast and, and what is intense? It, it just sounds like a couple good nights. Nah, oh, that's whoa. not that's not what I mean. Whoa. A fast and intense relationship, then you go to his friend, his friend. What is that? That's not <laughs> no, like. No, I'm a, saying, I'm saying, like, like you could literally, girls could develop feelings over the course of a month or two months. It depends on what my man says. Okay, all right. Depends on fair. what his verbiage of what they had was. Like, what were y'all? Oh yeah, we dated. All right, cool. I'm good on that. What were y'all? It was just nothing, bro. Like, do you, but you right, can't cool. say that because mm-hmm. words are defined differently by people. And the the thing is, my if, fucking someone, dating someone, and talking to someone, those are all different things. Yeah, but you're talking about my crew. You're talking about my circle. Okay, so if he, so I'm talking to my man's. I'm not talking to her about right, it. Right, right, like, right. Like she already showed me that she want me to hit. I gotta go to my man and be like, yo, now what the, is this situation? My, my problem with mm-hmm. that. Or what was this situation? My problem with that is, and I talked about the nigga last week. The one where I ended up fucking his friend and he was like, well, if I got married, he would be invited. The crazy part about that is... <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the crew. Yeah, I mean, it was the like, crew. I got to think about that. I mean, it was the crew. But I say that to say that when he went to start explaining what we were, he was like, yo, I dated Mandy. And I said, sir, we had sex once. See, I'm not doing it. It wasn't that good. <sighs> and now you're going around telling people we dated. And this is and the now problem. I'm upset. This but is I, the problem. I will also say too, because... He hit my homegirl up and was like, yo, I see you hanging with Mandy. I just want to let you know we used to date. And she got mad at me because I didn't mention him. And I was like, girl, we fucked once. It's, some things are not meant to be said, but some niggas want to say it. It thinks it builds up their platform. Mm. You might be a top tier joint to him. Oh, no. Nah, nah. But you see it. <laughs> not back in the day. Now. Uh, but, you, but you know. But now. Even, but, I'm no, on the JBN. Back, and, but, no. no, but even back then, it didn't have to be like who you were. It, it could have just been you. Right. Like to right. him, he could have been like, yo, she's out. Outspo- she's this. Like, I, I, I can't ever yeah. get this. Oh, yeah. And they, his brother was even trying to holler. See what I'm saying? So it was. It was the a whole crew. For him to tell her, it was more like a. I just want you to know, like, you ain't the, the baddest thing I had. You ain't the best. Like, I had this. Like, mm. so it ain't it ain't like a competition thing, but just to know I can handle woman of your company type shit. Just to let you know type shit. Some niggas is like that. And he lied. He got in the back and it was done. It was done for That's my I already, one I already told y'all. One, one if if I only if I if I let you let you hit it one time, it didn't fucking count. I didn't give it to you. I let you hold it. And then you had to hand it back to me. 
Mm-mm-mm. It doesn't count. She said you had to hand it back. I gave I, no because I gave <laughs> you an Indian <laughs> giver. <laughs> <laughs> Not I let Indian you hold giver. it. You didn't take it nowhere. I let you hold it, and I was right there with you, and you didn't do nothing with it, so you had to give it back. So you never had sex with a dude once, and it was just Thank like a know. mutual, like, it wasn't that the sex was bad. It was just like, yo, we no. just don't need to be doing this. No. Never? No. Wait, what? Only one time, and it happened It it happened. It happened a really long time ago with somebody that I was friend, that was really my friend. Yeah, that's what I'm friend. saying. Like, it happens. Like, and I was like, oh, this was a bad idea. I mean, there's been plenty of times where I was just like, yo, one time, it's fine with me. No, no, no. But I've guys, but, but that to way. me, men you, and women are different. Yeah. If one time is fine for me, then it wasn't good. It wasn't it good. Didn't, it yeah, didn't, and, and, it and didn't, that's what I'm it saying. Didn't, it didn't really warrant the spinning of if the it, block. Cause, cause if, it's, if it's good, I know I told you I didn't want feelings and shit. But now I, I told you I didn't have time before. Now, whenever I got all the time in the but motherfucking I'm also, world. But I'm also really honest. Like my pussy is full of feelings. Do not, <laughs> do not dive in here if you don't want me in my feelings. Cause I'm here. I'm already here. She's there. Oh it's a pool. It's, already, it is a it's pool warm. of feelings. It's, it's already warm. She don't, said a pool of feelings. Don't, feelings. don't preheat this if you ain't going to put not. the dish in. Do not. My, Do not. I think my fault right now is I lose a lot of situationships, I'll say, for this for this topic. Mm -hmm. Because I, I as an Aries, my feelings, I dig deep really fast. We're not mm. going to stars and moons. Yes, we are going to no, no, stars no. and moons. We're not going to stars and moons. All right, moons. so forget as an Aries. As me. <laughs> In conversations, okay. I might go too fast, like, first night. And we get on a conversation, we're on a call. By the end of the night, she already talking about trying to fuck me. And she knows if she sees me, we're going to have sex. And that's just not something she wants to do with her life. Mm. So I lose a lot of situations like that. I'm, like, also, I'm also crying at, that's what's not what she wants to do with her life. <laughs> with her life. Yeah, but she <laughs> not don't even want, her night. She don't that's want to destroy because, her because life. Because, because her in her life. mind, she might be like, yo, if we keep talking like this for a month, two weeks, three weeks, like I might she really be like love. it. But yeah. the way this conversation got so fast, I know the next time I see him, what I've already said is going to happen is going to happen. So it's like, let me just ghost him. Ryan, I want to. I've been ghosted like that. Man. Shout out to you. For having good dick and conversation. Because Lord knows those two oftentimes do not come in a single package. Full disclaimer, I've been totally quiet throughout this segment because Ryan knows my men very well. Uh, and they are real friends in real life. That's my guy. So I have, no, I have no comment. It's, it's right. above me. Well, I, it's, I'm I just above to, me now. I did want to get back into it. Y'all know we, we started with the Eve, the Eve and Trina tracks. Now, <sighs> Eve and Trina, That's this Wednesday. Who picked this verse in? Bitch, I feel like we, we just listened about like, but I feel like we, we just listen to this battle. battle. <laughs> Don't do that. Do not do that. We're not going to do that, Ryan. They both Man. have. I mean, I know more songs. Eve songs than I do Trina songs, but I think that's that's geography. I don't think that's because Trina doesn't have enough. I I don't. I just don't. I I'm wasn't, not I wasn't picturing this. I want y'all to listen back. I'm not sure when we talked about it, but I think that you predicted. You said that this would be a good matchup when we had the conversation. And Trina, no, was you like, did it. No, I, I swear, didn't. no. <laughs> I so who did else it. did you say when Trina said that she wanted to go against Lil Kim? You said absolutely. No, not. I did. I did say you Eve. said Eve. I did say Eve. You said yeah. that this would be a good matchup. I did matchup. actually. That's true because I remember. I remember shutting this. down Lil Kim. I was like Lil Kim and Trina. Nah, Lil, Lil Kim, Lil Kim would, would no. I think. I think when it comes to these these female verses, I think they need to sit down and think a little bit longer. Before I don't think they, there's an. I don't think enough women have enough. Enough women have enough discography. Old, I think. I think when it comes to women further back in years, yeah. don't have enough compared to now, where it's mm. like the Nikki's and the Cardi's and the Megas. There's mad records already in the see, past but, year. But and see, a half. no, that's that's my problem. I think that back in the day, just maybe even with the lack of social media, mm -hmm. like when we talk and she brings up that I was born in 2012, mm -hmm. it's because, <laughs> like in in Florida. The way we received stuff was at a difference. So y'all are saying y'all yeah. don't know Trina's songs. I've been rapping Trina since, since I was from, in tenth, like fucking like fifth grade. Florida, like, right? I'm from Florida. Yeah, no. So that's gonna. But to the rest of the, I mean, but I don't. World. I don't know how she didn't reach out to the masses. Like, well, not I thought even she that. did. She has songs with Kelly Rowland. She has songs like I Trick. Just, Trick is someone that is known. Absolutely, absolutely. And I, I, I do not disagree with you. But I've traveled throughout my life so I, get, I got to see certain parts of the world or the country certain people didn't but to the outside world florida is just miami and no no to a to a lot of people to a lot also, of people, also, a lot of people no, who are not from they the fly south to florida. I, just to you, to miami. I ain't gonna hold you i hate to say it we at least got disney world so bitch people know orlando okay i know but i'm i'm, I'm Niggas know Orlando most, and then be like yo we going to disney world most <laughs> people do not do know the capital of florida tallahassee 
You're from the okay, state. Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> but that's what it, for me, it's like the outside world looking in. It's I like, would have had to give that some thought. Like, is it Tampa? Us are gonna, is us it are gonna go for Eve because we know Eve is East Coast. So but it's like, Eve is it was also close rough, rough riders. riders. Like, it was, it was a lot of closer things to us. You was take it to the house, 305. It's the way we take it See to what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that was you. But I understood that because I got to see both. But I could see the people that just don't know. And I still don't know Eve's shit. Trina, had a, mm-hmm. Trina has had a lot of records. She it's not you. that. Y'all know this one. Yeah. See? Like, but no, this, she got her classics. But like yes. I said, it's a good, it's a this good. Is, this is going to be a good matchup. I think. I think it is too. But when, I think but when are we going to fall out of it? When are we going to be like, what is this? I mean, I was over it last, at the last one with Swiss and Tim. And I hope they do not put any new music out. Please don't do that to me. I don't either. Well, I mean. This is the one you said you knew from Eve, Tambourine, no, right? No, this is not what I said. No, that's what she this wanted what to she play. Said. This is I, not what I said. Because so, this was also on the on the playlist of things that they played when they wanted you out the club. Yeah. Hold on, Swiss Beats also had a time. There was like he was this doing was like early two thousand. Yeah, he was doing everything. Well, he was doing everything. It was and this, this was fire. This yeah. was more than just Eve. This was Swiss. This is like this was this Swiss. was a Swiss this moment Swiss. because he was doing Ludacris. He was doing Ti. He was doing a lot of people's. Kim, he was doing a lot of people's records. My Eve song is Who's That Girl. Because to me, I could be wrong, but to me, that was the first time we got to see the Harlem Shake on TV. So wait, when did that happen? I also liked, I mean, it's not her record, but I liked her verse on Hot Boys. Wait, 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 no, back to the Harlem Shake. Yes. Y'all know. Her voice, her verse on Hot Boys Y'all know a bitch is from Florida. So this is the first time Harlem Shake was on? Look at the, this is the first time. Can we get the, who's that girl? Yeah, it was actually. This is the first time you got to see who's that girl in the Harlem Shake when it was like this. The little, the little Harlem shit. She was doing it. Yeah. That was the first time we got to see that. Wait, it was a little girl. This dropped after. So I have two. Talking about special delivery? No, I was about to say special delivery G-Dep. with Diddy. And then I'm not going to lie. Mainstream me, when I really got into hip hop, I again saw the Harlem Shake brought back by, I believe, the clips. Mm. No, was that Interesting. not? Interesting. Uh, in their video, do you, do you know which one uh, I'm talking about? Damn. Yeah, Grinding. I think it was Grinding. Grinding. They had all the girls doing the Harlem Shake in that. So that was literally yeah, my full... I, I think, did Grinding again, come out before... Yeah, when, um, when did Grinding come out? Grinding yeah, came out in 03? See, I was, that's about the time. Y'all, Harlem also, Shake it wasn't, was not it wasn't, out in 03. Yes, it, yes was. it was. It was definitely out in 03. Yeah, in 03, was. I was 12 years old. Yeah, that's was, when I was brought in because... 2002. But see, yeah, it I was, was 11, because um, this was Harlem Shake era. Please play the video. They had girls doing the Harlem Shake the whole fucking video in the white wow, background. Look how young. Look how young they look. Wow. That's crazy. This is no. almost twenty years. No, ago. I don't think there was Harlem Shake. Bro, I don't this, remember this, them this, Harlem Shaking. I don't this video, this is a very gangster video. I don't believe there was any they dancing do. involved. They, go to. There's a white backdrop and a girl is literally. That's what you thought. <laughs> but also, it's not. It's not special <laughs> delivery that you're thinking of. What's that other? It's another bad boy record. Um, take this money, ain't no way you could take this from me. What video is that? What's she the name not, of that she song? She's about the wrong song. No, they there, not, has to, there has to be a, a, a remix. You can't even that. Harlem Shake to grinding. Do, 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 yeah. No, that's how I know you from Florida. Do, 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 do. <laughs> it was <laughs> Let's Get It. That was what. That was the. That was the song. Let's Get It was, what, the, was, what was where everybody was Harlem Shaking. What year was that? 2016? Nah. nah, nah this, this is way is before. A, this just a, this that's is when it was uploaded. Calm down. Yeah, this is where we saw everybody Harlem Shaking. See, I knew there was a white backdrop. Nah. No, but I don't I think, think that's it. Eve Joint came out before this. No, really? I'm not gonna hold I, you. I believe Scream so. Man, let's yeah, let's see what year this came out, and then look up what year uh, who's that girl came out. 2001, 2001. It was Harlem Shaking, bro. See, well, the I'm, Harlem Shake was old. Up. Yeah, the I'm Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake was. So then I'm thinking early. of a different song. I ain't gonna yeah. hold you. I um, I never was really that good at. So this when did thing. that Eve no, song come out? It couldn't have been 2009. It said 2002. Nah, no, think, that's when the video came on. Yeah, to I'm, YouTube. I'm thinking that was the same thing. Will you um, scream it? Will you look up who's that girl when who's that girl came out? Who's that girl? It's right there. I feel like that's 2003. I don't know. I'm thinking this came out first. Same year. Same year. Same year. So okay. I think I was right. I think it's you, the same I don't know. Hey, it's, it's hey guys, video, run it back. I don't think he was right, but you were around the well, same year. I want to say 2002. Yeah. And this well, is 2001. Oh, wait. And look, let me blow your mind. All of this shit was 2001. 2001. This is okay. 2001. The other one okay. said 2002. Okay. This video dropped first. Who's that girl? I, no, I was, God damn it. I okay. Knew, I knew that shit. Ooh, you just got it right. Okay, well... I am, I guess, what are your predictions of even Trina? I know both of y'all think that their discography isn't long enough for 
I guess they might do ten songs a piece. I don't know if I know. Yeah, them, I don't think I don't I, think I don't either one has 20. more than more than ten that are like yes, everybody knows. I agree. This. I agree. Um, there's gonna be a few album cuts that the diehard fans are gonna know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That Trina has, I'm sure. That Eve I'm ready. has. I'm ready. Um, but yeah, I mean, Love Is Blind was a was a moment. Yeah. See the the features for Eve and Trina both are really gonna be what carries. I that, think that that's that for sure gonna be what carries. Actually, said 2001 on this. Yeah, yeah, I think that that's gonna be what carries too. Yeah. Um, I do want to go into it because we also talked about it last week mm. or two weeks ago. Mm. It is confirmed. Uh, I know we have Trina. And um, Eve on the 16th, on June 26th, Bow Wow and Soulja Boy. I'm so that's excited. The one. Is, I'm so wait, excited. That's the one. one. That's the I one. am so <laughs> that's the one. excited for that. That is really the one. Yeah. That is the most, that's going to be the most, the second most entertaining verses. Which one was first? Mm. I would say it's a tie between um, Teddy Riley and Babyface entertaining. <laughs> and... Um, uh, Bounty Killer and uh, uh, okay, okay, and okay. Beanie Man. But I, I think because this that, might be that the was most, great when the police came in and <laughs> tried to shut this. Shit this down. might be the biggest viewed one. Oh yeah. Thus far. Hey, this is a good song. I don't know. This is the first one I picked. This is a good. Song. Ghetto Girls is a great song, but it's not the, my first pick. About. Okay, this one. Yo, yeah, they really this still is put this, this is one of those. <laughs> but is this, your, this is your like top bow or something? No, bro. Yo, what? Don't violate. <laughs> Don't violate. I mean, these like would have been okay, my no, top. This would have been my those, top bow. Those are okay, this one. I'm not gonna lie. This is when he really got in his adult bag a little bit. Can't get you out of my system with T Pain. Nah, but before you gotta go before. Okay, it, like, where are you trying to go? You gotta you go tra- to like okay. Bow and Omari. And, like, this is where you're trying to go. So, Puppy Love. <laughs> this, this is, is actually, a good song. This is actually, song. I thought he was going to take my virginity. I ain't going to hold you. I was 13. Like, I'm going to lose my virginity now. I was, I was Yo, already 5'7 at 13. Like there was you, no way. He did. He was like one of the he first did, to do did. shit with, with hey, his hey, joint. Chill, yeah, chill. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's one of the... But you know what, though? I feel like Bow Wow, Bow Wow is, Bow Wow, Bow wow is definitely underrated. I feel like we. So I niggas, feel like we forgot. Niggas violate him because of social media, because yeah. his little things and making meme jokes, and shit like that. But when it comes to music, scream tour, dumb shits, it was bad. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Wanna Shoot Park. Yeah, shout yeah. out to him. He's super dope. Super, super, super dope. It's gonna party, be hilarious. Party with him a few times. He's dope. He's cool. You party with I know everybody. right now. I, I party <laughs> literally with everybody. You party with everybody. I think I have party with everybody. At this point, I think you got it. I ain't gonna it. hold you. <laughs> I think you got it. I ain't gonna hold you. I knew that nigga. Years ago, see what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I, I think that Bow Wow has a. However, however, Soldier Boy claims to be the first to have done everything. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier's comedy, and I, I That's love it. That's why I'm saying it's it. going to be the most. But Soldier got records too. Soldier definitely he has got records. big time records. You know what? I, I mean, I will... honestly, he could play. Um, he, he could play skits from. Uh, he could just play clips from his interviews over the what years too. It's comedy. See, yo. This still go. Let me tell you something. This I ain't gonna is, hold this you. is definitely I be shit about the little TikTok. This is definitely this the second on, most slow. loved song by white people in the club. Why did Swag Surf? <laughs> no. Superman. No, I'm hold saying on, that's one, one of them. That's something. Niggas be in a club like this. That, this. That's that's everybody. When I he say did, when did. I say. When I say white people love A-Rab. this fucking song in no, the club, love, absolutely. No, yeah. It's, this did, is this is number two. Number done. one is Fifty Cent in the club, and this mm. is number two. Doom, doom. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is. Well, Soldier Boy had it. He had the whole ringtone face. He had he had a lot. He did have the Kiss Me Through the Phone. Yes. He did. Um, I ain't gonna hold you when you played the Crank That or not the Crank That. The, um, whatever this new clap, shit is that clap, he just. I don't yeah. like that clap song. I love it, but it's a huge song. I love it. This was turn my. You remember turn my swag on? Yeah. Oh, turn my swag. Yeah, like, and then he was literally solidified by Beyonce using those. Things. This <laughs> is Beyonce. my he's gonna play pretty, pretty boy swag. swag. He's, hey, gonna, he's gonna they're gonna play all Beyonce little clips, all that shit. But <laughs> I can tell a lot of people. I was watching their uh, they had an interview on Breakfast Club, mm-hmm. and they were talking about how it's gonna be in L.A. They're making it bigger. It's gonna movies. do. They're gonna do a live show. And they're show. bringing out mad people, and it's gonna it's gonna be some for Drake. Us. Somebody yeah. got to bring Drake out. This was actually one of Drake my favorite songs they gotta by bring him. Drake out. I hope if y'all too young hey, and don't know this hey, motherfucking hey. song, this booty me was crazy. That booty me. I go when all these songs was really dropping. I think I was like in college and it's I was a, in it's Indiana because everybody had the lean with it, rock with it, yo, uh, it was, beat. I was in the Midwest, so this shit just was right there to them. It was like, oh, my, my favorite was one was amazing. Uh, Let me get a shoot. 
Let me get a hit. That was my joint. I was that was this Midwest was amazing. Days. Okay, so who wins? Who wins for y'all? Bow Wow or Soldier Boy? Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Bow Wow. Yeah, I think he records. was more mainstream and more. He records just he for just sure. got more records. He had, yeah, he had more uh, radio records. Uh, mm-hmm. Soldier Boy had more club records and ringtones. But, I mean, he was the first. He was the ringtone guy. But I also think Bow Wow gonna bring us some shit we don't know. That he might have wrote on or some shit like that. Oh, Maybe. he he, yeah. was, he was writing. He was writing people. when he was young. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be some shit that we just was like, you had parts. You of did that. that? Oh. Yeah. And I think that's gonna set it off for Soldier Boy because I don't think Soldier Boy has none of those. And then and then I think okay. I think after Essence they should just after Essence Fest they should call it. I think we can stop now. Why would you call it though? It's, <laughs> I think they're not gonna now. call us money. You're not the only call the money. only reason I say call it is because n- this was like, the appeal of this had to do with the fact that everybody was stuck inside. I think it's cool. At essence, that means it's going to be a live. Yeah, but show. Now, now you just make it live. And you so do they tours. can make it a live verse, which is cool. A live verses, which is cool. But it's only cool if you're going to perform. But they, no, they've done that. They just did that at Live with uh, I know Swiss and Cal- but what go, uh, Swiss and uh, and that crowd Andrew, was it, trash. It, it looked trash. horrible. Yeah, but you got to curate that shit. That was also on Sunday, live that Sunday night, and they was right. Doing it's the all day. the people that like, going was, that early. They showed up. Right. They, they, it's all the people that showed up at ten o'clock that to make sure that can't get because they can't get in. It was a lot going on, but I think it could be something. I I'm think, not saying drop it, and I think there's still a lot of artists that could still be on this platform. I think it will only work if you have artists that are performing. People have to take pride in it being a show. Like to me, in this situation, with especially Timberland. with Timbaland and Swiss, it's like Timbaland is battling. Old r- drag on Rough Rider Maybe. records with Aaliyah records. Like, no, <laughs> no. But that's when it becomes more of a celebration than a battle. I feel like if we right. want to get back to a battle, then we got to go to these. These younger, maybe like producers, right? Like when they did Hit Boy, yes, and they did. I like those. Uh, uh, or when Boy they did uh, Jonte versus like yeah, just, Neo, I believe he went against. Yeah. Did, did you see the one with the white boys? I don't watch white people. I don't either. But <laughs> sorry, it happened. To, I don't know. Have to come man. across a screen that I was in the room of. Was it really? And it was actually up? yes. It was when they first started when people weren't really watching verses, and it was actually one of the best ones I've ever seen. Because who were the white men? I forgot that. Well, it was it, it was no. It was Benny. Don't Blanco. say exactly. <laughs> no, it was, it was Benny Blanco. Okay. Who does all the production ever? Yes. Okay. For all at pop and everything, and it and Paul was Wall? Paul. I don't know Wall? who's the other white man. Ryan Tedder. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here we go. Sorry, Ryan Tedder is the lead singer from One Republic, but he is a writer. Oh. As well. But he's a writer, so yeah. you get all Beyonce records. Yeah. You get all One Direction. You get everything that's on the mainstream on the radio that you're like, what you the getting, hell? You getting big that you pop have ballads. to hear. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. he looks Middle Eastern. Benny Maybe Blanco. Benny not, Blanco. I don't think nah, he's Jewish. He, oh, he's Jewish. He's Jewish. Oh wow. Okay. But if you look at their catalogs, like if you put their catalogs Crazy. next to each other, you're going to be like this. No, no way. You can't. And then he'll right. be like, yo, I sung this whole thing. And you know what? You may be right. So this this Instagram live actually happened April 2nd. I know, this was, I know this was their li- own, though. This wasn't put on by Versus. No, it this was. This was them. It no, was? It was put on by Versus. This is one of the mm. first ones. Oh. So it was not known at the time. Yeah, That's why we, it doesn't even have, I mean, this one doesn't have a lot of views. Because it doesn't have, I mean, not even just the views, but like there's but no, when it there's first no started, marquee. When it first started, it was, an Instagram it was, it was just it like a conversation. It was, like, yeah. it was something where they're like, yeah. yo, let's do let's it. Let's do it. And and the fact that this happened April April 2nd, I know that New York went into lockdown officially uh, March 17th. Exactly. Yeah. So this was two weeks after. And there was a slow roll to all of the country so shutting the, down. So yeah. it was, And this was just like a, this was like one of like, the, I'll say the first three or four. When it was no like, connections to no right, 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 right. brands there was or no nothing. brand partnership so it was like yet. when I yeah. really watched this this is when I thought like yo they really got something because I didn't I mean I know who Benny Blanco was I didn't know who homie was by face I knew what it was from his music but when I heard this and I'm like too late to apologize like those type of songs oh, is yeah. crazy and they wrote these the shows. producer uh, portion of um, versus was definitely my favorite. Yeah, and I, think I would, you could and I would actually, again. I would actually prefer that if they if they did more songwriters and producers. And I feel like that's what it was supposed to be at first. It was supposed to give back to the people who you didn't know and mm, what they did. Mm, and I think it got to a point where it was like, we got to start throwing these big artists in there because hey, Parks, there's bad. Can we can we do engineers? Who would you go against engineer battling? You don't know. We got to mm, get some engineers. Some engineers. engineers versus going but on. But the crazy thing is that could that could really be something. One hundred percent. There's there's so many engineers. Just like I'm sure yourself, you have your catalog is is crazy, and so nobody you, would ever know have, you, because would when know. you get an album and you look at the credits, we're not. I'm not really looking for engineers unless I know my boy's engineer. Like yo, my boy right. did this. I'm not doing that. And same with when you look at these songs, it's. 16 producers on some of these records uh, and when you have one it's like yo I did 100% of this shit you're like right nowadays that's unheard of unheard of and these yeah. are 100%ers produce yeah. everything yeah. but also I think it has to do with how versatile your um your catalog is like I in my mind like Timbaland would have been would have been better suited to go against 
Scott Storch because we're talking about top 40 pop records and we're talking about, talking about some of hip hop's finest. Right. To me, Swiss Beats would have been better suited with a Just Blaze. I've always felt that way. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure, too, for Essence, we're also going to go back to the older uh, generations of catalogs, like how we just had even SWV and Escape. Escape. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure Essence is going to give us one of those type of battles you know, again. If Versus is smart, I don't want to give them ideas, but take all these old school acts and put them on tour. Like, I mean, kind of almost what uh, Diddy even did with the Bat Boy tour. Kind of like, kind of like, like that. And they yeah, did yeah. a little thing. But, and that was a good tour. And, and to be fair, that was a good tour. tour. And you had to, you had to keep that under tour. a Bad Boy bubble. You yep. don't have to keep it under no you don't bubble have to now. Keep it under a bubble. And there's, I'll be real. If if they if 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 Lamar Odom fighting for chips, <laughs> there's gonna be some artists that's gonna get out there and perform for I'm chips. Just, <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, like, and barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, literally nothing. I'm coming out. Well, and that's the thing, too. Luckily, it doesn't even have to be a tour anymore. No. We see that Rolling Loud is in three major cities. Do it like a festival. You do. And mm. get the aunties out. Get the older people out. After You know, they got their well, vaccine you, shots and shit. Get them out. If you want, you go to Rolling Loud and you just do a versus stage. Like, there's so many things there you are. Versus, do. A versus and we're giving stage way too many. Be. We're giving way too many ideas it, out here. It's going to be, I'm going to be rich Well, if it happens, if it happens, <laughs> listen. All, everybody going to be sipping all their water be, out yeah, your straws. Yeah, we're going to be sipping on these straws. <laughs> What's the name of these straws, by the way? Eco Gave. Eco Agave. The straws are made out of agave. Uh, yes, uh, I love agave it because particles, one hundred percent better than paper. Joe. Hand me the one about. I do want to say mm. that's been one of the things where I was definitely problematic early on in the straw phase out because you hated turtles. Because I just said no. I said fuck them turtles, but the turtles. <laughs> I was mad at them niggas because the straws. The well, the straws was uh fucking fizzling out and melting in my drinks. And so now I just want to sip. A bitch can't sip sip anymore. Now a bitch got to gargle her goddamn drink. See the sip? You see the sip? Oh, I've been sipping. Sip was good. I will say too. Good sip. It is I'm, not I'm able even... to pace myself. Yeah. You don't gotta have. You don't gotta like have a conversation and be like go and drink and then get back to the conversation and get another drink. Well, that's can... that's kind of what we gotta do with them goddamn paper straws. Yeah, you or do. you just have to be like, I know it's COVID. I'm just gonna put my mouth to this cup and praise God. But also, that's why they <laughs> disintegrate. The paper disintegrates. Paper is bad. Pa- paper's horrible for us. Like we hate it. Yeah. Plastic is horrible for the environment. Yeah. If you use metal, you gotta clean it every time, so yeah. it's not like. Infected and all that other stuff. They have other ones that are, they break down or they have yeah. a little taste. But mine, mine is the best. I don't or care or now my stuff. tongue is bleeding. We yeah, not not Mastro, the uh, nah, bamboo the, uh, joints. The, the, the they the they give bullshit. you splinters, but mine it doesn't the break down. Joints give you. Um, I know it's like sipping out of chopsticks. Why would y'all do that? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a terrible yeah, idea. That's, that's horrible. <laughs> but, terrible. But idea. our shit is like in in uh, landfills, biodegradable, seventy five to one hundred days, rather than plastic, oh. which is four hundred years. Um, paper does break down faster than us, obviously, but we hate it. So it's good for the environment. Um, they're very dense too. They're dur- they, they they're, feel they're very like durable. They, they feel sturdy. And we're black, also, we're black owned. But like, I like, yes, I, come on, black owned. But I like too, uh, not only what this last year has brought out for entrepreneurs, but I think, I, and I told you before we started, like the idea that you stepped so far out of the bubble as a black man to yeah. come out with fucking straws. Like, that's um, incredible. You have a lot of spinning plates. I, I mean, I'm trying to slow that shit down. Like, I get a lot of calls and stuff like, yo, trying to do this, trying to get it. And yeah. I always just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll have 10 things to do and I can't really focus. So now right. I'm focused on like three main things. But not only that, I do also want to let all of you know if you want to place the blame on anyone for Tulum becoming Vegas, it is this man. No, no, no. No, no, no. To be, to be, to be clear, to be clear. I'm very clean and calm. And I have to give, I have to, I have to give Ryan his flowers about Tulum because Ryan has, Ryan was in Tulum when Tulum was Swiss Family Robinson, Gulliver's Travels. Facts, man. And it was all about the bohemian vibes. It was all about, it was all about yoga. about life. And living in the trees <laughs> like, and, st- you know what not, I'm saying? Sleeping in, sleeping in bungalows with no AC. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now it's Vegas. Now now it's sparklers and it's Drace. I That's mean, what it is. Now. I'll take some of the blame. I, I'll take a lot of it just because niggas wasn't there during COVID and right. I was there. The whole time. Day. You lived there. Yeah. You lived there during so COVID. So I'll take that blame. I'm not going to take the blame of how ratchet it got because I didn't it say got, that. It's ratchet it's now. Ratchet. But I mean. Literally, she went there for New Year's and was like. I was there. This was we the guy. He was, he was, I, we were I, with him. You told me. That's but I literally was like, I literally, I looked, at, I was looking around. I was like, Ryan, this was not what you said. Like, because, you know, when Ryan goes, I'm thinking, well, it's tranquil. You know what I mean? Nice. Like, Ra- anytime Ryan would go to Tulum, it'd be like, no, Ryan is out here doing pull-ups on right. the log we on the having, beach. We're like, having he's, good times. You know what I mean? Now Sipping out of the co- directly out of the coconut. Like, now it's spring break, Miami. 
oh five like the yeah. whole time you know what I'm saying? now it's wild. hookah in like, the pool <laughs> like now it's you have to make yeah. reservations the week before you get there to even have dinner yo first of all first of all you're before, buying a table at a day you're party a, like this, you would at is, vegas this is what i'll say and I, i'll just put a bun on what i have going on to them i have a yacht company i started out it's, yes it's Talk your it's shit, an King. amazing it's called yacht club company um we've also been black Essence, owned Come black on. owned we've we're about to be i'm not gonna say what we're about to do but we're about to do some shit um but um from there, for me, it was like, that was my business. And I started and I created a whole bunch of great things in Tulum. So I wasn't thinking it was going to be that, but we made great money. We're still making great money with our yachts. I have nothing to do with everything that goes on. Else. <laughs> Even though one of my friends, Juice, shout out to Juice, he runs an amazing company yes, called Black Juice. Tulum. And they do an amazing job for stuff that helps me. Yeah. He uses my boats. I use some of his venues and stuff. But this is what I will say. Stop violating us as black people mm. with our people hitting us up a week in advance or a couple of days mm. in advance. Start treating our business how you treat these white businesses. Right. And y'all book yachts from them two months in advance, three months in advance. And then you come to me. And feel entitled. Entitled. Like, you don't have mm. a yacht for me next week. I'm like, yo, my, my yachts are booked for months in advance. And right. If I do have something, you're so lucky. And honestly, I really don't care because I'm booked up for three months so, every day. So what you just brought up was an interesting topic because I know a lot of the conversation now with so many Black-owned businesses, a lot of still the consumers are complaining about customer service, but I don't think that there is enough attention about how Black people still feel entitled to receiving things from a Black-owned business right. that necessarily they wouldn't receive from a white-owned business. Like, I'll be honest, too, with my subscription box. The um, the 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 mailman put her box in another mailbox, and she hit me up like, "Damn, mailman fucked up. Put my box in another box. I ain't got it. Can you send me another one?" And it's just like, there's no way you would ask this from any of these other subscription no companies to just no. take on that. Like, uh. but there's this entitlement of, well, yeah, you black on, but you ain't gonna look out for me, I and that's. I also think it's some it's it's a way that and I, I hate to say this shit, but I think black people also think like, how come I didn't think of that shit? Mm -hmm. Like you you did the business like I could have did that. Like and then they put a higher standard on you oh. and it's like, yo, I'm I'm if I go to you, it has to be the the most the, beautiful grand thing in the world. But if I go to them, they can fuck up. Even like, though because they the, the white, the they, difference. And that's Just what it is. Yeah. And it's like when it comes to that shit, like I don't money is just an object. Like I my well like my happiness is everything. So me turning down your couple thousand dollars, couple hundred dollars is not gonna make or break my life. So when you hit which, me up, like which, I got, which a I think, which I think is really the mm. misconception about black businesses. Oh, that they is think that, that people they need, like we think need that you. we need. Black the crazy thing is, I get all consumers. these white people in Chile to get on my boats if I wanted them to, but that's not what I'm curating my like business the to. The response always ends up being, oh well, that's fine. I'll take my coins elsewhere, sis. You wasn't spending that many coins anyway. You what? Like it, mm. it, it you weren't, and you were probably if you're friends with or know anybody you were expecting a discount mm. let me ask you that Do which i, I it, no, well not which that, not i that can't i'm discounts. not i don't know anything about because if if i'm telling you you're, i'm coming to support a business she so bought she, a box i'm yo, not asking i see her yo, every Bridget, week we work anything out, i do bridge like yo pays. no i'm like yo bridge like nah i'm gonna make sure you get this but like, I, make sure I, we were we were in tulum we were in tulum and i had a and, and i hate he was ryan said like you know i, I worked something out with with management because i know the owners and you know they'll give me a little kickback based on who i bring in here and I said, well, I just spent $3,000. So Fact. I'm going to, we need to go there to the owner and make sure he knows that we were here for you. Right. I don't need nobody else. None of these other little waitresses with the with the, the Jasmine from Aladdin <laughs> outfit Word. on claiming that this was their table when in fact the only reason I'm here is because of Ryan. And the only reason why that would have happened is because I knew the owner. It wouldn't, right. if, if I didn't know him, they'd be like, yeah, cool. And it would have never happened. So right. those type of things are personal. But at the end of the day, it's like, treat us like you treat them. But it's so different. It's so different now as an adult, not only being a business owner and in this space, but I remember early on going to clubs, like even as, as small as like promoters, like the idea that just because you know them, that you're entitled to getting in free, which is crazy now because it's I know. It's a story of our lives. But I, but I, yeah, well, no, it is. It is but, it but, is. That, but that's the thing too. The nigga I chose also, you all day. Think he getting into that party. But that I night. also <laughs> know that that's how them niggas make a livelihood. But you got to understand when it comes, especially when it comes to people in our world. Yeah. Like I won't say the like entitlement. Yeah. People automatically think because they cool with you and you get in that they gonna be good with you. And it's like you don't know. I don't might not have a plus one tonight. It right. might just be me. Right. And for me, the hardest thing to do is leave my friends outside. Well, it's so, also people also don't believe that. Like I had I had this conversation the other day, um, oddly enough, because we were talking about the Rock Nation brunch, the Grammy <laughs> brunch, and you know. 
This subtle flex has been brought to you by. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead and talk your shit, queen. I've gone to every single brunch for the last 12 years. Mm. Ooh, so that's a big old flex. It ain't I've a been to, flex. I've watched. I've definitely been to brunch on that day, too. It wasn't there. <laughs> so I've watched. I get that right. in my head. But I've watched. I've watched how. I've had brunch to a Jay-Z how the, song. <laughs> right. I've watched how the. Right. I've, 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 definitely, definitely, I've definitely had brunch with some people that was at that brunch. Yeah. But just not in that venue. Yeah. No. Definitely. There was definitely a throne to watch in yeah. the brunch. <laughs> yes, yeah, but it was, it was not, not at that. the Rock Nation uh-huh. brunch. No, but I definitely rem- I I remember thinking every single year how the invite list would change. In the very beginning, it was it was a really a label only celeb friends brunch, mm. which was amazing because I had imposter syndrome walking in there the first couple years when it was just like you know Will Will and Jada oh, at the table with Gwyneth with flex. Gwyneth Paltrow oh, and this Chris Martin. Oh my god! And I'm looking like the yo, horror. this is crazy. <laughs> what am I doing here, right? But then and then gradually it was like, all right, cool. Now we're ex- we're ex- we're expanding the the guest list. The invite list is now mm-hmm. to to artists, cousins, and family members. And now everybody got plus fives. And so yeah, I ain't get one plus five. Uh, no, I ain't get one. Well, well, yeah, that's crazy. So well, I mean, <laughs> when I, I deserve it, I'm gonna get that. that. I'm gonna I always that. assume that because I would see people getting in, and I would shit. be upset because. They would deny me my management a pass to come in, and I'm looking like I'm looking at artists that are not that big that also are not on the label, and they in here with four different people. Mm. But neither here nor there. I just remember people not believing me when I would say, "Nah, I can't, I can't help you. Like I can't get you they, in. They There's like, nothing I I'm can do for Hove. you." I'm not Hove. My name is not like because this is how we feel. Yeah, but, Where but can they, we go if we can't go to the Rock Nation brunch? Yeah, you but, can find yourself. You can find yourself can't go to a Bella lovely. Noches. Where can we go? Can't go to Bella Noches. Can't go to Bella Noches. Where can I we mean, go? I mean, you could go to the Ivy. You could go ahead and post Damn, up at the listen, Ivy listen, for listen, brunch. Listen, listen, they man. have don't, very <laughs> lovely don't floral be little, arrangements. Don't belittle my life because I can't get the Rock Nation brunch. Because I, 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 I never had one invite. I never had one invite. But I want to go when it's right. Like I don't want to be a plus. Listen. Well, here's the thing. You want to go as the invite. I want my name when I walk up, Ryan. Damn, I said that. Can we believe that? No, I mean, yeah, we yeah, can believe that. Right, we can believe that. <laughs> Ryan. I mean, hmm. I mean, they could just look it up and it'll probably be a baseball player uh, that pops up anyway. Yeah, no, yeah, you, you type my name in. <laughs> the black guy is definitely not the top 10. <laughs> I definitely get dragged down, which is fine. Unless you type in those keywords, which do I don't you know. Use, do you use your government name on your, like, on your employ, like your partnership documents and stuff like that? Or yeah, do you have hell an alias? No, I use my real name. I don't. Okay. Uh, I, it's straight. I'm uh, yeah. I, this This whole Instagram name thing is just weird to me. And it's mm. even weirder because I don't have any like it's straight letters. There's no right. punctual. There's nothing. So people are like yo, how'd you get that name? Like straight fly Rob. Like yo, I was just there first. But people have tried <laughs> to buy it. Really? Yeah. Oh wow. People DM right, me to buy that's it. That's doing a lot. If you had the right price, I'll put an underscore next to fly Rob. <laughs> that's crazy. But the person just didn't have it. He's like, wow. like one hundred and fifty. He's like, can you change it? I was like. Wow, I was like, you're not the real fly Rye. He texted, he hit me back. He said, you're right. You're not the real fly <laughs> he said, Rye. He said, you're right. I'm not. Appreciate your time. Wow. Oh. He looks. Yeah, like six followers. What do you want my name for? Damn. <laughs> See, I have I have aliases. People didn't believe Bridget Kelly was my real name when I first came out. People were I ain't like, gonna there's hold no you. way. I, I was like, that, like really it, my there's name? so many government? people in this industry that don't have their real name. I don't. Right. So it's, it's, it's Mandy weird. with two eyes. Yup. Get it right. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Wait, there's yeah. a few people actually. There's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of people that don't. We don't use gotta go through the list, but I was about to say there's, there's a, a lot. lot. I mean, yeah, it's also I have two first names, so it's like people are kind of looking at me like, nah, there's no way. And I'm like, well, if you I go, if you, cool. if you go to Dublin, <laughs> if you actually, go to Ireland, actually, there's a lot of Bridget Kellys running around. Just keep a lot, it in the there's book. There's a lot of my last names in, in Jamaica. Yeah, I can see that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's what we're not gonna do. Uh, let's see what, what what we finna talk about next. I guess I do want to give. We had so many topics. We have today. so many topics. I do want to give a shout out before we get into some topics. It is Pride Month, and I'm pridefully bisexual and queer. And you didn't have a song things. for this. This needed a song. Um, the only song that I could think of, and you know what? Judge me if you want to. I will never judge you. I mean, this is this is Speak where it's yourself. going. Okay? <laughs> this is what we doing. Nah, I don't judge. Listen, the first set is out of your this pod was this about my life. This only makes sense so. because what other song yeah. would you play for Pride outside of this? Do you know what this is? I know you know what this is. It's Come Tiana? on, because baby, Tiana actually, got that. What's it called? Song? I, I would, it's not. So this is. You know what song I'm talking about? The the, the, the something pussy the song. Yeah. yeah. I'm th- the, no. no. I was thinking more so of. Um, 
Madonna Vogue, but that's cool. Oh, that's well, cool this too. is you know that was before my time. Oh, she tried this. This is this is this is crazy. This is what? her generation. Born this way. This, this is, about, is this young, is her sorry. generation's <laughs> Vogue. Mandy was oh, born in two thousand and twelve. Britney Spears. This Lady is Gaga. Lady Gaga. Oh my God. <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. I was born this way, and I say that to say yes. She I, was born in 2012. No. That's why she did not play a Madonna song or George Michael. I, I can't I play Gaga. I thought Gaga's song was... Shit. I thought that was... Wait, and you thought it was good. fucking... Fuck, what was, what's the song? Fuck This Pussy is the name of the song, Is that right? what you thought this no, was? No, but I'm, I'm no. thinking just because I, I knew it's what the, the song Vogue was, but... and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, maybe I'm wrong. Also, shout out. If you haven't yet, I know we're not in the TV portion of this show, but I have been enjoying the fuck out of Legendary. Mm. Shout out to my boy Asante for putting me on. It's like real ballroom. So it's like a ballroom competition. Yes. And they recently like got into uh, not really an argument, but just pretty much saying like there has been appropriation of ballroom as it pertains to RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm -hmm. And so watching... And think you don't get a lot of the background noise and drama that goes into like a competition, but you just get to see some really dope costumes and sets and everything ballroom. And I I did have get to go to a ballroom uh, show, so I loved it. But anyways, shout out uh, to Pride Month. So if you haven't yet, if you a guy, I need you to suck some dick, and if you a girl, I need you to <laughs> eat some pussy. And that's just what it is. What I'm sorry, don't. Maybe I'm gonna not eat you. pussy this okay. month for me. We know. <laughs> We, we know, don't. We, we are know. not supposed to. This is what I was supposed to be we, telling y'all. Like. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Um, I guess I wanted to get into, well, where do we want to go with this? Well, we were just kind of talking about uh, businesses, entrepreneurship, and I do want to bring it back to relationships a little bit, um, only because I think that we've been talking a lot over the last couple of weeks about the boundaries that I've been setting for myself mm, yeah. um, in my personal life and my work life. Not rom- not just romantic relationships. Not just romantic oh, relationships, relationships yeah. like literally boundaries in my entire life. And I wanted to bring up uh, Bodak Yellow recently hit Diamond mm-hmm. and Kodak gifted Cardi B this beautiful Diamond Charm bracelet and was like, Cardi B, I hope you like your bracelet. Hashtag Cardiac. And uh, it was just beautiful. You definitely know it was expensive. And a lot of people had an issue with the fact that oh, Kodak... He put her, he put her daughter's oh, name he put on her, it too. Yes, That's cool. it was beautiful. So, mm-hmm. is this crossing the line? Is this a conversation that he should... Should he have asked Offset if this was appropriate? Are there boundaries that Do have we to know be that drawn he with didn't? this? I mean, we don't. Okay. We don't. But I would want to know if you feel like it's appropriate to receive gifts from the opposite sex, no matter what your industry is. But on a personal level, this is kind of like, eh, yes or no? Um, It depends on, like, it depends on who it comes from. Mm-hmm. Okay. It depends on how, how it's presented. Okay. And what is said. Um, That is not really a bad, just like statement. It could, we know Kodak to say some wild shit. We do. That's He's correct. wild. So that's why I feel like this wasn't one of those situations this where he was trying to do This ain't even his money. Something. This ain't even his jewelry. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It, like, I don't, I think this situation was more like, I appreciate you for naming the project based off of me. Because mm, right. Bodak Yellow comes from Kodak, Kodak Black. Black. Of course. Um, It's Diamond. It's just, it's, he, like I said, if he, he could have said it a lot worse so I could be like, nah, nah, nah. But I don't think, that's what type of time he was on. But, but so if you're in a relationship with a woman and I, I, and if she I receives know the a nigga, gift, if I know the nigga, I would want that conversation though. Oh, of course. okay, I would agree you with too? that. Yeah. So w- so your man right now, if he were to receive a gift from even someone at work, that would be something where you would be like, oh no, nah, what is this about? If a nigga like, gives you something at work, yeah, uh, why is he giving you something at work? I don't think that's I don't oh. I don't think this. The work has been, but I don't think. <laughs> see, but then that, that's well, the, automatically but the other, a problem. But the other part right. about this is too, though, her husband works in the industry, so they all work together. Yeah. Mm. So that's an easy so that's phone why call. it's an easy phone call. Like it's an easy conversation. It's like a, yo, you know, the nigga at work ain't an easy phone call to I, call your but, man but at you home. Know like, what? Yo, bro. I, you know what? I think I want to draw the line there because that's not an easy phone call. Only because yes, they're in the same industry, bitch. I can't call Joe Rogan. We in the same industry. I can't just call Joe Rogan. Yeah, but okay, okay, okay. So same industry and same... Close to the same level. Tier. Yeah. It's okay. two different things. Yeah. Okay. Like Kodak can get in the studio with Offset and all of them if he wants to. Like it's... it's it's, it could be a it, label. It could be they're, they're, I mean, they're accessible to each other. For all other. we know, they got the yes. same lawyer. Like it right. could be that simple right. okay. of, yo, right. boy, 
I don't want to violate. Yeah, because also to, I, I want to gift your wife this. Because also it cool? putting mm-hmm. the daughter's name, that's, their daughter's that's name personal. on that's the jewelry is very it's, personal. It's personal, so, but it's also a connection to both. Now it's not correct. just now it's not just about, now it's not just yo. Yeah. This is you, Cardi. Like yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, she yeah. got yeah. kids. This I put is to honor. This is to honor all of it. Right. So he did it. Uh. I won't say there's a better way for him to do it because I've seen him do shit way worse. He's, so I'm saying he's, this might be, be the best way right. he knows how to do it. And it was, I don't know, feeling peachy, I guess you could have let that out. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it because it's, ro- it it's, it's, it's rose gold? Yeah, no. Or, oh, oh, mate. But the peach, is, that's like the are there pink emoji. Diamond? That's what I thought. I that's thought the, the peach <laughs> But, but <laughs> I don't think he was taking it there. I think that well, don't look he's Haitian, so blue and, blue and red okay. is that. Um, Look at us trying to dissect emojis. We are old on this couch. I know, it's are. not an orange, so it's not Florida. It's a peach. It's not Atlanta. It's um, yeah. Atlanta could be for. Oh wait, Atlanta because because of offset. 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 But I don't but think. Then what's the story I, I hope for? you didn't put a Georgia peach for that bit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did. But I think I think if there wasn't a conversation, I think offset doesn't feel some type of way about it because of the way it was presented and it wasn't like a damn yeah the I caption can't wait the caption wasn't, also wasn't no it, didn't read it wasn't like suggested I, nothing is suggested it just really read like in my mind he's thinking like i really appreciate you for you you took in something that nobody wanted to give a chance at one point which is Kodak black Yeah, and okay. you made it into Bodak yellow and and, it's and really diamond. made it a global phenomenon a global, yeah people forget that Bodak yellow comes from Kodak black sometimes yeah i mean it's the whole cadence see what i'm saying <laughs> right. but but certain people are just like but you know i'm from florida so that's why i know that she but right. a lot of people eh. don't even know Kodak black not i mean a lot of people know Kodak black but there's a certain they pe- know him for going to jail but yes. there's certain people that just yeah that just don't know Kodak but they know right. Cardi B so the first right. thing they thought when they said Bodak Yellow was that's the first thing they don't right. know it came from Kodak when they heard Black. Kodak Black after they probably was like oh he he stole that from her right right. so this right. is just a way of giving back and I feel like I feel like it's dope speaking of giving back mm-hmm. um, so James Harden uh, shut down rumors this week that shit ain't true it was alleged well it was alleged and he did shut it down he uh, was alleged to spend a hundred thousand dollars to get a date with Saweetie, he responded and was like, I'm tired of these people creating these false ass stories, knowing I really don't speak on this bullshit. Leave me out of all the weirdo shit, shit trash, back to my real life. Fact. Which, shout out to James, because he... He's a real one. Yeah, he's a real one, and that's he's going to be God. drinking that 100000 You can't even send it on Cash App, bro. You definitely but can. you can't send it on Cash App, and that's where I'm just like... So people, he also said, people really on here just making shit up for clout. I really yep. stay out of the way. Cash up a hundred thousand, beat it. I don't think what what is the limit? What's depends, the most? It seven? depends on what you spend, but it's it like depends. Seventy five hundred. Like yeah, I thought maybe. it was a hundred. So you verified also, like the other JBN members? How much can you spend? Weekly. How much can you spend yeah. on Cash App? Uh, I thought but I thought it, I thought it was like, seven for a like week. Five, I thought it was like seven. seven. Yeah, but there's well, a weekly cap there's too. A weekly so it's like cap. it's never gonna go to one hundred k. Right. It's definitely not. Yeah, very far from that. Okay. That's one of my friends. And that ain't that ain't. Yeah, he no. is such a given nigga in he general. Is. He's very generous. And honestly, shout out to Harden. And I'll keep it real with you. She probably would fuck with him without the bread. Without the bread, right? I, well, I agree. And he's a fun time. He's a he's cool, cool, and he's like, a cool he, ass he's a nigga. Cool nigga. He don't, so he don't have to. Here's a hundred k for you to go on a date. With I'm me. just I'm just happy that he kept it about the fact that people were making shit up and not. Yeah. And didn't mention her at all. Mention her at all. I respect I don't that. Do. I do. But that's when you when you a boss and you got a five hundred million dollars. But you could but you could be a boss. But you could be a boss with five hundred million dollars and still and still respond to this like nah. I don't. I would never do that for her. You know what I'm saying? It, a lot of men would make it about her. You're absolutely right. As opposed to just responding like anybody making this shit up is is a, is a but not the, but not the you, niggas that used to get pussy it. before money. Boop. Mm. And there it is. And niggas that is. don't didn't get pussy before they bred, yes, are gonna make it a spectacle. Mm. Well, no, they do. And the niggas that was getting they do. The yeah. niggas that was getting bitches and ha- and doing all those things before they had that major dollar don't need to say it. I don't even. I don't even want to. Like I said, I don't even want niggas knowing I fuck with you. I do. Like, I do right, want to ask you right. then, Ryan, um, and then Bridget, if you can think as well. Ryan, I want to know the most you've done to get the attention of a woman. And Bridget, I want to know what what the most a man has done to get to to grab your attention in trying to shoot their shot. Oh, mm. there's a couple of things. I guess I'll start. I I'll, please, start. Please, please, I'll start. I'll please, start. Please, please. So this is it. this is back when I was uh, I I you know I had my little sugar daddies back in my day, and I think the most that someone has done 
it was an African that I was talking to in Nigeria. And my homegirl actually posted me as her WCW. And he saw me and wanted my attention. And at that point, I was like, a Nigerian? Like, eh, I don't know. He was like, just so you know, I'm real. Send me your information. Before we had a conversation, he sent me $1,000. Oh. Just to talk to me. He said, here you go, just so in case you thought I was on some flake and bullshit. Fucking up the Before game. he oh, even bro. talked to me, he sent me wow. $1,000. And he was bro. like, this is so you know what's up. And I was like, oh, Ooh. dear. I hate that and I ended up me. actually, that relationship, I ended up only seeing him twice in my life and ended up getting $30,000. What? Um, he furnished my whole apartment and helped me through my first year of college. Wow. That's why I was able to be on the volleyball team wow, in college. Ryan. I was able to actually focus on my classes instead of working. Think of, think of yourself, <laughs> King. <laughs> think of yourself, <laughs> King. 30? These in dudes year, are out here paying. They out here, they he out saw here you twice? He saw me twice. How many times did he hit? Uh, what's crazy too is he only also liked missionaries so it was the easiest like easiest and he was cool he was like 6'3 he was a handsome man too yeah. 30k and what's crazy is too and this is why I've always built these uh, relationships of the 30k I may, m maybe only got 9 in person he would just send me and wire me money if I needed it like I would just wow. complain and he'd be like there's no reason why you are going without the what do you need up? here you go it's the nigga they locked up no he's not he's Hush not locked up no <laughs> It wasn't that bad. No. That's probably what said. Why are no. you, Fred? This wasn't, a, this wasn't a scammer. He was just a very... He, he was, was a very wealthy he, Nigerian. He, he, he went to Guangzhou for all his business. Like, he was working out of China. He had really uh, dope businesses. Wow. Um, that was the most... That, Do you know he had dope businesses? This is this No, he did he because he you. actually came at me. Like, when we met, he was like sending me bundles of hair, sending me things from China. He said, you need to have a business. And he was willing to help me start a business. Wow. I was 24 years old. I was getting through school. No. My, my idea you didn't know what you had. I didn't yeah. know what the fuck I had. Like wow. a dummy. You like could, a dummy. I also, should have probably, I also probably should have worked. <sighs> so in that year that I got the 30000 I just didn't work. And, and I'm just, like, I could have leveraged that in a different way, but I got it at a very young age. I didn't know what things the fuck. Happen. Things happen. They, they happen. Yeah. So now back to y'all, God damn it. I done told my story. Shit. I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm going to let her go first, but I never get nobody 30K. <laughs> no, I never, I never got, I once, never got oh. 30K from anybody. It was twice. Well, you were, well, I mean, you were, you, you, the question that you asked though was what was, what was the most somebody did to did try to get, get my, my attention? attention? That's 30K. That's attention. That's, that's attention. You have my attention. You would have my attention. You have my full attention. For a second and for 30K. Um, Damn, I mean, one guy, I remember one guy went on The Breakfast Club and talked about me on The Breakfast Ooh. Club without naming me. Um, Wait, yo, I'm going to, which was, was going to be like, so trash which was, which was, which was kind of awkward because that. he was like talking about having a crush on me and I never even met him. Um, I mean, yo, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, there was a guy that I had been curving for a really long time and I kept, and I was just like, bro, I really, I don't, it was an athlete that I just had no interest in really dating and I was like, I really had just have no time right now. Like I'm leaving. He came to New York and I was like, I'm leaving. I'm going back home to LA. Like I really got nothing for you. He's like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to just get on your flight then. And that could be our date. So he booked, to, he booked <laughs> a ticket. <laughs> Mind you, he had gotten injured. So he had, he had like a, a boot on his foot and he, he was like, it's cool. I'll just, our, I'll, our date will be <laughs> on this flight. <laughs> so he booked the seat next to mine on Delta One just to fly to LA to talk to me the whole flight and then flew back. <laughs> Yo, that, that is was the wild. most that was the most the guy ever. And I still Look at didn't the and I still, can't believe it. And I still didn't go on a date with him That's, after that. Look. Damn, that hurt just then. No, he had the bread though. It wasn't like it wasn't, the bread, just it wasn't, wasn't about the bread. It really was not mm. about the bread. It was really just like I'm that's, cool, bro. I'll like, be real with you. That's fire. <laughs> that was fire. I, I was impressed. Like, when you leaving, I'm leaving tonight, so I can't really see you. what time. Bet I'm on the same flight, but he's gonna have this conversation. Yo, he that literally is, said that is some G shit. Fire. I ain't gonna hold and, he, you. and he was he's an athlete. So Bridget, he that should have been your husband. Whoever he is, no. No. If you no. hurt, no. 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 Nah, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> if if you read if you read his if you read his tweets and you saw how he how it he, was backstory to how it, he misused that. Yeah. How he misused a lot of pronouns oh. and words. You oh, okay. know how I am about oh. grammar. <laughs> I know you be checking but me. For, cool. for what he did, that's fine. It was so, romantic. No, it was romantic. really romantic, but it that's was like romantic. not this person. Because we were on the flight and we really I realized within like an hour, like we have four and a half, maybe five more to go, and you are not gonna be able to keep up with me in this conversation. Ryan, what what what's the most you've I'm, done? I'm really Look. thinking <laughs> <home>. <laughs> <laughs> These shits is, I can't. I didn't hop on no flight. And I, <laughs> Damn sure wasn't sending that bread. 
But you um, like flew, you fly girls out, right? Get, you just wanted to step into that. <laughs> wow. What a podcast you are. <laughs> Mandy uh, don't know how to just dip her toe. It's yeah, a whole cannonball it's a, yeah, every it's time. It's so, a cannonball every time. I'll say the when I was younger, it there was nothing I could really do as far as like money wise. So mm. for a guy, when guys do that for women, it's like they got that bread. It's not, mm, y'all, yeah. see, how, see how y'all didn't say anything that didn't have anything to do with money? No. Like, y'all could have told a story, no. which was like, yo, you know what? No. He, 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 told me, he told me to come here. There was a carriage. We went to the park. <laughs> he had a picnic. It was all that. But y'all didn't say that. So, for <laughs> me. Well, because, because the problem is, too, before we get into that, a lot of men do that thinking that the money that they spend is going to trump the thoughtfulness that part. behind it. And mm. to me, it was like. I've been curving you for months and you really about to spend twenty three, twenty four hundred dollars on this flight to sit next to me, knowing that I've been curving. I'm I've never exper- I've never I'm not leading you on. I've never given you any reason mm. to keep going. And as far as I'm concerned now, this is just your ego. You just trying to soothe your ego, right? Like you just trying this to something like, you've done before. Yeah, like you trying to take you trying to take the L with pride. You trying to take the L with pride. Like you trying to go out like a champion so that if anybody ever asked you why you never got it. You gonna be like, well, I tried everything and I did da 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 da. But to, but to be fair, Ryan, what you're saying too is, unfortunately, we even if we even go just the idea of patriarchy, mm-hmm. there's a huge emphasis on money as it pertains to men. Always. And so, even when a man can't be thoughtful, their idea of, well, let me show this woman I can do what I need to do as a man. Right. Mm-hmm. Money becomes the first thing that comes to mind to them. And also, I feel bad for some men with money because I think men with money have been able to be lazy about being thoughtful because they have money. And I feel bad for those Mm. men because there's a lot of regular, regular, schmegular girls out here that will take that. We could segue to the next topic, but I still still want to hear Ryan's. I flow right into that that golf stream of I'm not regular, but I could do regular shit and you love it. Mm. You're not you're not expecting no because I don't I don't give off the I'm a trick. I don't. Some might say I'm frugal. Cool. But I'm not going to... My first line in the girl's DM is not, what's your shoe size? Which, and I know niggas like that. Like, they you first thing is you money on the table. For, you don't ask for the full name I, and birthday? I Have I recently? Yeah, of course. <laughs> but the more money I got... I, I never thought I would fly a girl out ever. When I grew up, when I was young, I, I was like, hell, that's just not for me. I'm not going to spend my money on that. If you fuck with me, you fuck with me, you fly yourself out, I'll take care of everything else when you get here. You don't have to worry about a oh, thing. Okay. Like, but that's just always been me like... You're going to stay with me, get a hotel, whatever it is. So if a girl flies themselves out, I know like the conversation is if, is if as a man, I fly you out, the pussy, you already know what you're coming for. I, if, 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 if as a woman, I fly myself to you, even though you're paying for everything when I get there, does that still mean we going to have sex? There's only been one time in my life that I flew somebody out and I didn't get pussy. And it was because I was just being dumb and, and jumping the gun like, oh, I think you got a fat ass. Let me fly you out. Boom. And it didn't happen. But it was just on some. Okay. Oh. It was on some. She just had ulterior motives, and I was just like, I got it, cool, mm. boom. Mm. But even when I wasn't flying joints out, I was still. I'm having this conversation. Be- this is the only time I didn't have the conversation before. Uh, okay. Okay. I had the. I have this conversation before with every. If I fly out, if you're flying in, we we already had that chemistry where we can't wait to get into the same state. So somebody got to come to somebody. Right. But growing up, I never thought I would fly joints out. But yeah. Then. But I also flew for free my whole life. My mom for the airline. My aunt for the airline. So mm. I didn't understand plane tickets. And in my mind, plane oh, tickets were just, just spoiled. This subtle flex. But plane tickets were shit. right. I was like, like, damn. I didn't know about plane tickets. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't pay forever. Full price. But, but it's not even saying that it's just what my family did. Like they, their right. job. But it's like I didn't ever look at plane ticket prices. So in my mind, I'm like, these shit's probably crazy. I don't know how these things is fine. But as I started to get some nigga, bread, maybe like two hundred dollars. The shit is chill. cheap. My as nigga. I started thinking about bread, I'm like. Wait a minute. I bought some <laughs> kicks. They 200 I go eat. It's 300 300 I can fly you here for 210 <laughs> round trip, and I can decide when you come and when you when leave. When you leave, yeah. Cool. I'm with it. I'm all for it. I, I ain't going to hold you, Bridget. Day. Now that I got money, I'm so mad at the pussy I gave out for flights. You see what I'm saying? Like, but I was broke when I when a bit. Like, no. But back then, also, I grew up in a single-parent household. I me too. We drove to Atlanta for a family trip. Outside of that, I I we didn't do that. But I didn't experience. North Carolina, we did well, I didn't experience. We we drove to Key West, Miami, <laughs> and Atlanta. Key West. Key West, bitch. I'm from Florida. <laughs> so my family, I didn't grow up in a space where, as a single parent of three, my mom couldn't afford couldn't do four, fly, Fli- four flights to anywhere. That's a lot. My mom still doesn't have her passport. So when I wanted to finally fly her out, I said, "God damn it, we got to do Puerto Rico, bitch." But 
that's literally how I grew up. So when I got to the point where I'm meeting these men that could put me on flights. And you're like, oh, yeah. I was like, Portland, Memphis, <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Ticket $78. <laughs> I was literally flying wherever <laughs> like a dummy. But, but, but because me, I, I was like, oh, But now I know why the fuck y'all flying me to them boring ass Were you cities. at least in first class? No. I ain't gonna hold you. No. Sometimes I was. Oh, yeah, my God. First of all, you gotta understand, like, yeah, like that's, but, flying it, for me right now, I'm not... I'm not flying you out first class. No, I'm not. niggas ain't flying you out first class. <laughs> yeah, but you got no, 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 no. But you also, Bridget, Bridget, but you also got to understand, but like, you were signed the wrong name. Thank you, course, like, what? Bitch, of course, that nigga thinks the first thing he thinks is if I don't fly her first class, I'm going to <laughs> so, lose. So, uh, so him the, getting wait, on that flight, Ryan, say, Ryan, here's the difference. She's like, you weren't flying first class. I'm telling this nigga I got to call out of Applebee's to come see him. That nigga <laughs> oh, is not putting me on first. You're not class. only not getting the first class seat. You calling out Applebee's? You're getting a connecting flight. Like, it's going well, to connect. After a while, I started going, saying, Yeah, cool. But direct, when you started, direct. you was oh, when connecting. I start, when I started, you was probably going from like, to New like, York open, to nah, Newark. But if I'm keeping it you was going from JFK to Newark to LaGuardia, <laughs> then to LA. Sis was on the shuttle like, plane. Shit. Like, yo, I'm in Oakland. Why gotta fly back to Jersey to get to LA? Nah, nah, baby. We gotta fly back to get you back. Yo, you got you a got five to hour layover in Atlanta. Yeah, you, you, got, you got time to go get your nails done, Word. sis, before you get to him. Everything in the airport. Go to church. You know, I got the church in Atlanta airport. Oh, it was your prayer room. But for yo, me growing up, like, yo. I never thought I would do that. But then, I hate <laughs> both of y'all. But to get to your question, I think the, the, the best thing I ever, like, and it didn't have to do with money, even though it cost, it cost some bread. Um, I really wasn't, me and the girl weren't really, nothing. I, I just wanted this girl badly. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm not really the flowers guy. I'm going to try it. So I tried flowers once. Okay. And it was like, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. Then I did it again, and it was like, it just got better and better. She was like, what? And then I really did it, and it came with champagne. It came, like, I'll show you this shit. And the shit was OD. And it was like, yes, and I, I did it. That. Nice. And even though, I I'm not saying that, I'm, and that situation didn't work at all. Like, I'm no. not saying at all, but it's it's a girl, it's, it's something that could be in the future, but it's just like, we, it's, our levels just ain't the same. But when the reaction I saw from that, and that shit made Instagram and all this other shit, and I'm just like, that's what I knew. I was like, it's really not. It's a thought, really. Like, not not only is it is it the thought. What you did was segu perfectly to yes. the next topic. Um, I actually want to play a clip from this. Um, as y'all know, this is the last season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, mm -hmm. but we know that Kim K just uh, divorced Kanye, and I want to play this clip. Uh, she was talking to her mom about what she hopes for in her next relationship. <laughs> um, but this is what she said. Here we go. She doesn't want that. Oh, shit. There we go. That is not goal, sis. So, athlete. <laughs> right. That's his job. He's going to work. <laughs> What's your number, Kim? I'll work out with your ass every day. I hate you. <laughs> I ain't got shit. You ain't got to worry about the extravagant shit. <laughs> what, what you just said, though, Ryan, in talking about the flowers, it's crazy because... That's all she wants. Yeah, but, well, in this... Well, she nah, nah, don't nah, just nah. want flowers. No, nah, but I'm saying, the, it's the little thing. It's the well, shit what? that she says but in a little conversation also, that niggas also, don't pick up. But also, we... To, uh -oh. For women, go ahead, go ahead, break it down. Y'all know Bridget about to step through with the gyms. Baby. I've really, I've really been blessed, right? Because I listen to even some of the stories Mandy told me, <laughs> and I'd be like, Yo, I, I don't, don't laugh, Ryan. I don't like, no, like that. I, wasn't for you to laugh at. <laughs> like not even, and not even, not even on some stunt no shade. shade. Like it's oh. no shade at all. No, it's I mean oh, no, no I shade at all. But I think about women that do so much for so little, right? That was me, and it's it's because. A lot of women have done that, that men continue to, to do the bare minimum to keep up, to keep up with a, with a woman that really doesn't have high expectations or high standards anyway. Um, but with a situation like a Kim K, it's really hard because oftentimes 
the men that will do those things are not the men that we want. Exactly. So yep. we Y'all have so to, as women, and choosy as about- women, we have to, we have to take responsibility for that because yep. I've, I've really been lucky. Like a lot of men have tried to date me and court me and done the right shit, but there's no spark. There's no chemistry. There's no nothing at all. You're not going to get the perfect. You're no, not going to get it. It's never going to be perfect. She just said, she basically just told you, I have, I have, a, I have a billion dollars, <laughs> but he doesn't work out with me. And right. I would love that. Well, and, but oh, no, there's nigga, more Tristan to, is there, working out because it's his job. Like there's, we there's said, more to it, it though. There's yeah, more but to Tristan it, also working out with other bitches. Kim, stop it! You right. don't envy nothing at all. Knock I, it off. I wouldn't say to envy that, but that's where I would bring it into. Again, when I talk about my upbringing, a lot of the times throughout my twenties and my and my late teens, it was me being very like wow and bug eyed on the material things. So the flights, the shoes, the being able to pay for things because I grew up with no money. Mm -hmm. So again, also back to patriarchy, a lot of men show up with money when they have it. And in my last relationship, it was literally all of the things that I know a lot of men won't give you like time, like consideration, like caring, like, like feeding my cat, communication, listening, feeding my cat when I'm out of town, like, just being able I'm to show I see <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck I'm with not, cats. Well I'm he did, so that was a big thing too. All these seeds. <laughs> consideration. You, you going out of town and I gotta what you want, water the plants? You he want did? me to do no, it? No, he did. Hell yeah. Not, not only did he not only did he <laughs> that do that. That cat was not eating. Wa- <laughs> he he the fed the cat. cat? Eating, that's only only one cat getting fed in that relationship. Hey, chill out. Chill <laughs> out. And he's the one that drink milk out of bowl. So they don't drink milk after they're adults. Cats. It's water. But why anyways, are they drinking milk at all anyway if it's not coming from them? Anyway, I don't know. That's the only other animal besides us that, that drinks, other, that drinks milk. Milk. other people's milk. I, I say all of that to say a lot of men don't show up with those small gestures because they assume they have to show up with the flowers, with the extravagant the flowers dates. flowers is like $40. With, I'm not saying my flowers. My flowers was, my flowers, the ones that I'm talking about, they was like 900 but Holy the one this subtle flex has nigga, been brought this to you subtle by flex but this was but, fly but this was after I built it up to that yeah, that's not the first flowers I red sent them right. that was the so first day that was <laughs> red bottoms would have lasted so much longer than those flowers not, but it's not, cool no but, my but, feet would not have lasted but there were, but my thing is right. my thing yeah. is seven, as long as they were not the seven other so niggas it's so cake seven other niggas could have bought you red bottoms but not think about the simple flowers correct that make you smile correct like I'm trying to I'm trying to have the shit that you like when you walk in your house it it uplifts you rather than you stepping on the shit that I buy you. And it hurts. Also, okay. It's cool. I'm good. But that also goes. <laughs> yeah, to this. You, you paying for my? You paying for a, a yearly a yearly pedicure Massage too? Right. You know what I'm saying That's, I'd rather give you that than them lubes. Like yo, I pay for oh yeah for that for the year. Like yeah, hey, boom. How much is that? Boom. But I feel like the biggest thing for me is being raised by a single woman mm-hmm. and being raised by a woman. I learned that little things count. Right. And I the little I, I'll. I'll be really brief with y'all niggas about this because if y'all don't know it by now and y'all at the age y'all are, it's over. When you walk down the street, I hope y'all know where to put her. And I if hope- y'all are still walking with your women, with your women and your partners on the outside of the street, you that you have so failed my, in my, life. But it's my, but it's my so ex used to do it's that. so yeah, it, small. It, it, small. It is, things. and and a lot of women don't even realize it. And I'll be looking oh, on the no, street. I'm I like, do. yo, why? You? Yeah, I do. But some, I do some, too. But it's a the protective ones, thing. The ones do that are either taught by a male in their life or yeah. they had a man in their life that did it. Right. So for me, it's like, I'm already one step ahead of you rich niggas because I did that. Right. And then I'm opening door. I'm just doing the little things that you might not ask for. Oh, I'm going to get my nails. I, I hear what you li- hear. Yo, here's 200. Go get your nails done and be it. Happy Monday. Boom. Little yeah. things that not even necessarily just money shit, but just I thought about it. Like, yo, now you had a hard day. What is this that you need? How can I help? Boom. I was little say, things that niggas don't, they think money can try. I ain't gonna hold you and I know it, it goes a little back to money. My, my ex now didn't even like my nails. And he, what are you doing? I was at the nail salon. He paid to get them f- he, switched up. He just sent me the Apple Pay and I was just like, even something like that. I know I'm even doing something that you don't understand. He hates my acrylic nails. And just because I'm like, well, I do them because they make me feel good. He was like, I got you on them today. And like, that small gesture. So even for the men listening, they can't buy the nine hundred dollar flowers I'm or the flights or things yeah. like that. There are such small things flowers though. Are fifty dollars, but twenty five dollars, and, and it's gonna make thing. somebody small. It's gonna make somebody smile. Their whole day is changing. Yeah, yeah. but and, and to me, it's the to me the what the thoughtfulness really represents is that you you are taking the time to care about what's important to mm. me. 
That's Say all it, that says. So Ooh, even if bitch. it's not flowers, for some women it's not flowers. For it's some not, women, it's not. for some women it's a good morning text. For some women no, it's it's no, make no, it's no, some women no, it is. It's got to be more than that. I'm, I, but what I'm saying oh, is, okay. if I'm if 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 we're <laughs> in a levels. if we're in a relationship and we're mad busy and I'm not a, we're not a talkative a talkative couple. You sending me a good morning text like, hey, hope you have a great day or a remind like just sending a reminder like, hey, I know you have a meeting today. Good luck at your meeting today. Oh. Just remembering little things like that. Or like Kim said, I'm like, yo, I just want to work on my I nigga. just want him to work even out if, with me. Even if you be like, yo, look, I know we both busy, but can we just pick one day out the week that we can work out together? Right. It's baby steps to continue to grow with somebody. That shit was a public eye. We all knew that. And it just happened to go longer than we expected. Way longer. More kids happened. And it was like, oh, okay. This is actually something. Well, because it looked it it looked like, and I won't I won't say what it is because I don't know either one of these people yeah, personally. Me neither. But it looked like it it was a situation where there was a lot of ego stroking going on, mm -hmm. mm. which is which which to me is not a solid found. You building a house out of sand at that point. All it's going to take is one wave, and all y'all shit is fucking Facts. unraveled. I mean, to me, to me, a lot of things dissolved. if they're built out of pride, or if or if something is built out of pride or spite. I think that those are the things that, I mean, I even... Or fear. Oh, or fear. I mean, but I've had a lot of friends um, that linked up because then they were no longer friends with me and I saw that shit crumble real quickly. Like, there's a lot of things that it just... Comes mad, with, I think mad bitches link mad up. Mad bitches link <laughs> up. I can't stand I think a lot that. Of that enemy of my enemy shit is a fucking it, wash. Girl code? You cannot... Wait, do, can I ask you, it's do not men just do about that? Girl. Yes, what? men do that all the oh, wait, time. Wait, is that a men thing can you too? explain this to me? What? So like, the enemy oh, of the enemy is my friend? Yeah. So like, if like, you don't, I don't like you, and I know someone else that don't, like you, don't like you. So, so now, now me cool. and him about to be cool. I don't, I don't like drama. I, I'm not like <laughs> everybody else. I don't really, I don't want any drama. So if I know you got drama with that person, I'm not gonna go with that person unless it was some real wild shit. Like, yo, this nigga robbed me. Oh, he robbed you too. Oh, he did. I right, bet. Let's let's just let's just get this over with. Like oh, those types of situations okay. are different. Oh, okay. When it comes to All like, right. it's got a little hood. No, but I'm saying when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to shit that's not a threat to me, right? I don't need to go out. That that's the main purpose of it. Anything that's Ryan not a threat, said. I don't need to step to it. But it, <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Even, but it's like those are the only things that Ryan I have said, to be like. Try me if you want to. Ryan those said. are the only things that I have to be like. Yo, I gotta go to your enemy, and we gotta. And even then, I don't even want to do that. I mean, but, I'm not gonna lie. A he lot said of, my name is Fly Ryan, not Try Ryan. Yeah, I know that's not right. Not doing this. Not today. I not know today. that's right. I'm not him. I mean, I, but I do say that to say a lot of I know girls do that, and it's just I, it's that shit that, is whack. It's so whack. I know girls. I know girls that. After they fucked with me, got together, now they buddy because buddy. Because you, you hurt both of them. And it's mm -hmm. like, ew, that's weird. And, and it's not even that I hurt. I just was. I just didn't end up with that's none giving, of them. Ew. Oh, that's giving ew. That is giving ew. Ew. I, that's ew. wait. Do that again. I like ew. <laughs> Don't do that. Mm -mm. It's like it's like when you take a shot of some of some cheap alcohol. You like mm, ew. <laughs> but it, but it's what to, to walk in a room and see three girls that you know that was not cool and now they cool like chilling and. It happens to be all, not, I won't say three, but two, and they be chilling, they, they mad cool. <laughs> that happens to you all the time. happens to you all the time. I be like, yo, why y'all even, like, how did this happen? Like, But I told you, it happens because even if girls may be acquaintances at one point, they they temperature check other bitches. And I think a lot of times, weird. they do like to try to make sure that they're on the, the, the one-up. So if it's something to where neither of them worked out for you, now we just going to be friends, sis, because we both were hurt by the same person. We do have something in common, which is why the enemy of uh, enemy, enemy is, is my, my friend. friend or some. I don't be getting all that shit right. Because yeah. because that's what you have in common. Listen, I think, and going back to even this this Kim K and Kanye situation, I don't think, I think when when you're in the thick of something, even, and this goes with friendships too, you don't always know what, you don't always know what you have in common or don't have in common with somebody until you take a step back. And, look, and you can mm -hmm. see the full scope and the Facts. full picture. And I think as as women especially, we don't do that often enough with our partners, but we also don't do that often enough with our friends to so take a step back and be like, you know what? Your take on this, probably not the best take because you're not really in my in my disposition and the circumstances don't really, you can't relate to the circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I think about that even as it pertains to having vision and and being an entrepreneur and wanting to wanting to succeed in certain areas. If you... You know, if you have friends that are not really supportive of your dream or your vision because it doesn't align with what they're doing and they work a nine to five, y'all speak in totally different languages. Facts. And it's not to say y'all can't be friends, but y'all just on two different pages. Y'all just on two different pages. And in relation in, in romantic relationships, it's hard too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you were saying you're like your man doesn't want doesn't like your acrylic nails. It's like that's something you do habitually that makes you feel good as about as as a woman. I'm the same way. But you, not, you liked when he stood up, was like, yo, look, I'm going to take care of this, though. I mean, yes. because because I know it's also something like, 
I know you. it's something that you don't like, but I know that you know it's something that I do because it makes me happy. And there's a fine so, line between compromising yourself to make somebody cool, happy and just shit, doing Bridget. and doing something that's supportive of your partner because you know it, you I care think the about nails them. is something minor. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. like, cool. I, I can I mean, do that certain and, shit is like, well, that and it's not like he's allergic to the acrylic and he's <laughs> like, bitch, you can't bring you those can't, in my yeah, house. She's like, I don't <laughs> like them, can't, man. You can't so hold my he, face he, with this. He went to Atlanta recently. Because I would have said get rid of that cat. I'm not Are you allergic to cats? Well, no. Well, no. He's okay with cats. But the acrylic and the lashes. cat is a demon. No, my cat is a demon. Mandy's cat is a demon. I think that might be one of my cutoffs for girls. His name is Bodie Badass. He's a demon. That might be one of my cutoffs for for women. If you have a cat, well, see, well, and that is for a lot of people. So to me, the fact that my man was okay with my cat, like he he loved Bodie, but also like it's funny because he went to Atlanta recently, and I get my acrylic nails and my lashes. Lashes is another thing he doesn't get. He was like, "Yeah, man." He was like, "I think I understand it now." I was in Atlanta, and there was a whole bunch of Mandy's walking around. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> because everyone. <laughs> Everyone has the lashes and the nails in Atlanta. And oh, I'm like, nah. Oh, Atlanta's different, now? though. It's a lot of snuffleupagus walking around. <laughs> <It's a lot laughs> but no, there's also... The lashes be like... Yeah, but to me... But, but the car wash. Oh, yeah, no, they do the caterpillars. <laughs> but a lot of women in Atlanta are big with the upkeep, with the hair, the nails, Absolutely. The, the lashes. They shout make out sure to they, Atlanta. Shout out, Atlanta. Atlanta. shout out to outside. Shout <laughs> out to... Nah, shout outside out, shout out crazy. to the... Shout out to the, women, to the women of Atlanta that groom themselves that way. Shout out to them, for sure. Shout out to them. Right. <laughs> I was Love gonna say that. weekly. Yeah, I was. I had a question. Um, uh -oh. So I've been I've been going through this back and forth stage in my life where it's like be the good guy, or be the bad guy, be the good guy, be the bad. guy I need more wine for this. Oh one. God, be, yeah. Alex, can we get another <laughs> bottle Alex? of wine, please? Me, me being the bad guy attracts women, yes. But then it's like you're the mean dude, and I don't really get the ones that it's like. I'm not saying not the ones that I want, but it's not the ones that I'm really shooting for. And then when I, I be like the total good guy to the one that I'm like totally interested, it doesn't work. Can you define to me what you mean by I think being I just a bad more. guy I think and I, being a good guy? I think I just show more interest, like a when lot When you're more. a good guy? Yeah. What, what does it mean for you to be a bad guy? Mm. I just, it, it's more, it's more self-centered. I think one, I'm selfish and one, I'm selfless. Mm. You're either one or the other. Yeah. Mm. But I think I could be both, but it just takes that person. And I don't think I've, I think the things that I've been looking for in a woman, which are amazing qualities, I just think sometimes I go about it. Maybe if I go at them in a mean, in a, not a meaner way, but like a more like, I don't give a fuck way. I'm, you know what's crazy? Work. So many men feel as though women want the bad guy all the time. And most of the time they do. But the crazy thing is, I'll, Look, oh, Parks even chimed in. They do. But, I, but I knew they, most I knew, of the, time I knew they the one girl did because. Well, what, what does that mean though to both of y'all then? It sucks for me. It's like, cause I don't want to have to be that to be this. Like, I don't want to mm. be happy with you just to make you, to be mad disrespectful. And it was like, the one time that I said, it wasn't even disrespectful, but I just said some like shit. Like, yo, I'm trying to, trying to eat it. Whatever, random, boom. And she's like, oh. I like when you talk to me. And I'm just like, nah, get the fuck out of here. Actually, like, we would have had to call HR. But you, HR. But you, uh, Mandy. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But you said what I'm saying? I didn't know that guys could just say that. Okay, sorry. Yeah, you My say, bad. But obviously you, <laughs> obviously you can because when I say, yo, Oops. I want to take you to dinner. I want to do this. Oh, I don't have time right now. I, but oh. then when it's like, yo, I want to do this, you're like, oh, I like when you talk. And it's like, yo, I can't win with you. Because you're giving that big dick energy. Like, I want to ask you then, Bridget, though. You said that most women do like the bad like, guy. I'm I don't think I'm that tight. Oh yeah, it gets a little it's spicy. A little up spicy in here. talking about my feelings. <laughs> um, because you agreed with him on that, but I don't like the bad guy. I don't either, but I think most women do because most women are conditioned to respond mm. to the bad guy. Mm. So that's why we're comfortable with it because we're conditioned to react and respond to men that are toxic and men that are. I wouldn't say disrespectful, but just a lot more <laughs> assertive and abrasive and harsh. And I don't like that shit. And I mean, he gonna be mad that I'm talking about it, but fuck it because the wine is flowing and we beefing right now anyway. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? Ooh, but mm -hmm. who you talking about? I go through. I'm I'm going through this right now with my partner because mm -hmm. he has a very aggressive personality, and it's great in most instances. I love, I love you, bro. I know. <laughs> I love him too. Um, and it's great in some instances, but sometimes it's not. And to me, a lot of that comes from the conditioning that the honesty is worth more than the truth. 
And, oh. and I don't subscribe to that ideology because that's that's the reason why somebody like a Trump has as many fans and supporters as he has is because people love his presentation of being honest. Mm. People are more entertained okay. by the fact and more women are yeah, like, well, at least he's being honest, being honest about what the fact that he beats women or the fact that he abuses drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like you, he grabs pussies. Like yeah, at least like, he puts it on the women, table. Like at least he's showing you what it's At like. least he's telling me who he is. Nah, who he is is a fucking dirtbag. That's more valuable to you? And that's what knowing you. that he's a Knowing that he's a dirtbag is more valuable than being lied to? So does that mean that they just want dirtbags? No. What it means is that we're both, as men and women, conditioned to A, act a certain way, either as a self-defense mechanism which for women, mm. I think that's why we tolerate men that are toxic is because it's we're used to it. We're used to it. It's normalized. But, but, also, we know, we but, but, also, but also, Ryan, the fact that you feel like you have to show up that way, I think that, you know... Because and, that's and the only thing you think is going to garner a response. But men feel like I have to show up then as this aggressor, this, no, this you macho don't. macho when you don't have to. Because and I don't, now, but I don't because now, want to. Yeah, yeah, but also men also don't want to be viewed at... Like, I, I know that this was a, a conversation early on in the beginning. We were talking about my man and not playing video games and hers doing Legos and stuff like that. And at the same time though, men never want to be perceived as lames. So they do or this. Soft, or which soft. Is, which yeah, is bro. crazy. So super macho, the macho. Only, for, for men, you should be soft with your woman. Be soft. Yes. We do like that. You don't have to be soft with everybody else. And truth be told, nobody ever has to know how soft you are but your woman. Yes. Be and maybe your grandma. Me. Well, no, be hard with me. But be soft. Be hard where it at counts. Be, be okay. hard where it okay. counts. Okay. There we go. Be hard where it counts. I, 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 with your listen, cylindrical ass. Yeah, we're having a, a serious <laughs> conversation about my feelings and how I'm going to better my life with these women. And y'all want to turn this into a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, what I, what I, well, yeah. let, me, let me ask you this then. Oh, therapy. This. Is this therapy? Hey, no. We charge by the hour. not therapy. This is not well, therapy. I'll, I'll invoice you. Um, <laughs> we've, we've, or, we've already paid him in, in straw advertisement and Wait, Italian food. And spaghetti. Um, yeah. um, this is brought to you by Eco <laughs> No, when you when you talk, still of, hasn't melted. Nope, and it's they the the been. wine still flows through it effortlessly. Effortlessly. Um, what are you looking for in a woman? Because mm. I think that also matters. The too. number one thing for me is if you can't teach me shit, I don't want you. I know, Ooh. but what do you want from a woman? What do you want though? I mean, you, it's, you it's want cool them to be your teacher? Do you want to be in a no? But do you no, want no. to be in a relationship? <clears throat> do you want to build the right a partnership? Situ the right situation. Of, uh, I see myself with someone like settling down, being good, and just traveling, but. Her I don't want her to work in my world, okay. which is tough, mm. just because it's just too many similarities. But I want you to understand my life. Okay. And if, yeah, that, that's, I don't ask for too much. Even though that might sound like a lot, I don't think it's too much. Because I, I feel like what I'm asked for to be to a woman is way more than what I'm asking for. You know what's crazy, you Bridget? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bridget, what, what you ask, though, and even what, what Ryan is saying, I think... A lot of this has to do with A, men like a chase, but B, women like a project. How long of a chase though? Well, well, Where well, do you no, want me to well, well, go? Well, that's what I'm saying. The fact that we like a project. And how much shit am I supposed to fix? That's you're, the you're problem. Right. But that's the problem. We sign up for either the bad guy or the guy that we know can't communicate or the guy with Because we're anger conditioned because, to be familiar with that. And that's what's that's a thing that we I'm can't not let me tell you against. something. I'm 35 years old. I'm not fixing nobody. Talk your shit. I'm giving you I don't all the build rope. A bear, nigga. No. You gotta show up. I'm gonna as give you, you all the rope and I'm gonna let either, you be you. I'm gonna let you yeah, show it. 100%. And once you show it, it's like I'm good or I'm not. It's up to me at that at that point in time. Correct. And and for me as a mm. woman, I don't ever ask for what I can't give. Ever. That's why when we laugh about we laugh about flights and we laugh about blah 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 blah. I never expected a man to do anything for me that I was not already doing myself. Doesn't and matter I, what age. So there's never a man that could ever flex on me or stunt on me or say nothing about me because I was who I was when I got here. And, and I, I feel, in in a way, I feel the same way because it's like, yeah, I'm around a lot of celebrities and a lot of NBA, whatever it is. And it's like, I'm cool with them. It's not because what they do that they're my friend. They're just my friend. Right. And I think when people around me and everybody else is all jeweled up and they chained up. They trying to figure out. And they trying to figure out who the yeah. fuck is he, bro. Like, yeah. everybody around here is X, Y, and Z chained that, and they see me and they're like, but everybody knows him. And I'm cool with that. I don't need to be that extra person to get your attention. Like, right. I'm going to reach out if I want to talk to you and we'll have a discussion and we'll go to dinner if that's what's supposed to happen. So how do you see yourself building with a woman then if she's not in your field and in your industry? If she's not, and I say industry because it's a broad stroke. There's a lot. But in, industry could just mean entertainment. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it, it's media broad. adjacent. It doesn't have it's to broad. Be, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's broad. But 
it would have to be somebody whose lifestyle matches yours. How do you see yourself building with somebody whose lifestyle matches yours? What does that look like to you in the grand scheme? And I only ask that because I think a lot of women, and I'm I'm going to get a lot of slack for this. It's an unpopular opinion. Uh oh, y'all know we toxic queens in this. <laughs> Oh, we're not toxic it's just unpopular opinions. okay you're toxic I'm, go ahead. I don't think I'm toxic I'm healed I'm reformed you're toxic but know how to reformed, say words reformed and refined she's toxic but um, just knows how to speak with big words so loses, it sounds good she loses you I'm dignified <laughs> I be taking Mandy on a, on a trip boy I be leaving Mandy that in the word, maze uh-huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey no. man pull up the definition <laughs> I think I really think like in my mind and now I lost my train of thought Mandy no, lost sorry, me now sorry. you were trying to say you are trying to the women they was going to be mad at you you. The women are going to be mad at me for saying this, but we do a lot better mm. with men that can lead. We need to be, oh, yeah. we do a lot better with like men this. that can lead. And when I say lead, I don't mean women have to submit. I'm not, I'm not getting biblical. Uh, I'm not getting okay. biblical. When I say lead, the same way that men want to be taught something, you have to be able to teach me something. You have to be able to give me a reason to be your partner. There's got to be some incentive and money is not the incentive. It's not. You have to come to the table with some level of character that's going to complement mine. And I already know, we talked about this even as it pertained to women paying for the first date. I'm cool paying for the first date because I'm going to eat at this oh restaurant God, oh regardless. God, oh God, okay, all right. Now you're going too far. I'm going to provide the experience for myself. I, you are joining yo, me. You come into my yo. show. So we, we sound exact tan. That's why you're Aries. But um, <laughs> it is the moods and the stars. But my my I thing is like, like when this. I go on dates and I don't like it. when I go on dates with women that I've been with or just dated on a couple of dates, I don't. I like food. I love food. My mom's <laughs> a chef. My grandma's a chef. I come from a restaurant. I went to school for hospitality. Like food is me. I'm not picking always this restaurant. Always eat good. Yeah, always eat good. You know, shout out Are to the brand. Are you be eating good? Yeah. yeah. Is always that what they said? Good. Always eat good. Jeez, okay. Sorry. Carrying on. Sorry. <laughs> See how I lose on. my train of thought like See? it's crazy. See, Mandy be taking you on a detour. But it's like, detour. <laughs> regardless if you was here or not, I'm going to eat at this place. This For all oh, you know, my mother might have took me here. Like, this I know restaurants because I know food. And I'm only going with you because I want company. I'm got nothing to do with. I think I'm gonna impress you with this shit. I, I I I can take you to a hole in the wall and it'd be amazing, or I can take you to the top of the line and it'd be amazing. So it's like I can do all of that. So I don't want to feel like, yo, she's only with me in a sense because she thinks, oh, because I took her to right. X, Y, and Z. She's it's like, nah, I take all my joints there. But the reason, <laughs> the, oh my god. But the yo, reason, the reason I ask, the reason I say that that we are we're inspired by men who know how to lead is because when a man can verbalize what he wants, it makes it a lot easier for us to decide if it's going to work for us. Whether it's what we want or what we don't want. I think sometimes women get more excited about the idea and the notion of what love and the relationship is supposed to look like versus what they actually want. Mm. And so sometimes we end up in situations with people that we're not fucking compatible with, i.e. Kim Kardashian and Kanye, where she's looking at it now like we have nothing in common. Sis, y'all never had nothing in common. He literally wrote a song (laughs) with foresight 15, 12, 12, 13 years ago talking about when he get on, he leave your ass for a white girl and exactly and did exactly that and married your ass. Well, like, not only that, he done left her and went to a real white girl. And he, went to a real white like, girl. He's not I mean, even I appropriating know. anything. I mean, I mean she's... Either, either way. way but there's she's a, half. No, there's a, but there's another white woman. Yeah, for her. No, wait, she's, no, she's, she's Armenian, she's which is like she's Middle but now, Eastern. But now Middle he's, Eastern. but now he's with like a real white girl. white Absolutely. woman model bitch. Right. So again, like Left I said, left your ass for a real white girl. The problem is we all get excited about what the picture looks like, right? And that's why I ask you what you really want <laughs> a because boss. because sometimes all right. y'all don't really want that. that. Y'all don't really want that. Y'all don't right. really want that. How are you gonna say y'all? Y'all, y'all the don't girls really want that. that you've seen attract to me. I, I'm talking about a boss, not in a sense of like, oh, she just has to be the, the boss or shit, but like. You got your own shit going on. You got your own... Like, you don't have to tag along. I get caught up with these girls that my friends become their friends automatically because we together. Like, you don't have a life. You don't have... Uh-oh. And I oh. can't... I Uh-oh. can't do that. Like, oh. I want you to have your oh. home girls and you go do that shit. I don't want you... Listen, I'm not coming at nobody's relationships. Whoa. I'm just speaking what I want in my life. I need my girl to have her own shit. I need my, my I girl agree. to have her own set of friends. I, I have a lot of friends. My friends like to travel. I like And I like to travel with my girl and I like to do all that shit. But there's certain times, your relationship ain't going to work if it's just you you and her all day. That shit just not... It's, no. If it's me and my niggas and you all day, like... It ain't that. It no. ain't like go with your friends. I'm gonna go with my friends. We meet up. My friends gonna be your friends. Your friends gonna be my friends. It's cool, but I don't want somebody that is all up under me 24 hours a day and does no. not have, doesn't have that. You need that career in my mind. Yes, it's not even a job. You need that career. You need a career. Yeah. That is like for me, 
oh, all right, my lady's making this. I don't care if you're making more bread than me. I'm making more bread than you. It has nothing to do with that at that point. It's, you're just doing something you fuck with. Okay. And I don't have to worry about that shit. You're not responsible I'm for I'm not responsible happiness. for what makes you happy at work. I right. can make it better when you get home. Right. But I can't be like, yo, you can't work there. Nah, yo, you're making whatever. Go get that bread. Figure it yeah. out. Now, when you come home, I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to teach you some shit. You're going to teach some shit, and it's all good. Go have your girls' night. Go have your little girls' trip. It's all about, for me, is trust and communication. Mm -hmm. If I really have that with you, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But that's also why I say... Most mm. men do not are not forthright enough to have that kind of conversation where it's kind of like, oh, OK, well, we'll just see where this goes. No, 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 no. We're in our 30s now. We're oh. not seeing where nothing goes. We're going to be we're going to be where it's going. So we, figure, we need to we know what the there. fuck it is. Yeah, we're going we gonna to get the path going. Yeah, but we need to know where we need to Facts. know where we're going. There's got to be an address to put in the GPS. We got to be an address. We got to be what yeah. I want. Correct. And now if what you want, I want is not on the same page, but you choose to stay. That's on you. Well, see, that's the problem, mm. too. If I say I don't want a relationship and you choose to stick around and I'm like, yo, I don't want this. I love what this is and I'm we growing, but I just see my I see where my life is yeah. going right now and it's about to get crazy. And I don't want to violate you in the end. Right. We talk so about this that is what I don't want. But to be fair too, even like me being single now has a lot to do with me being real with myself and I believe him being real with himself. We both don't know what we want. And so instead of trying to figure it out together, I think... Which is a really beautiful place to be. It, it, it is. I, it can and, be. Well, and, and that's why I'm glad... To like, not know no, is a beautiful place. But both it, of y'all okay know. know. We don't know, know at the same time. Yeah, but then, but then somebody, don't know somebody starts to know before the other. Well, 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 and that's the problem, Always. too. There needs to be room for change, room for yeah. growth. We all have that over time. That's what comes with time is change and growth. You, yeah, you can't. And so you're not in know relationships, a person in a day or... In relationships, you have to be able to allow that. And unfortunately... Allowing change and allowing growth may essentially allow you also to realize that the person you're with now is not the person you chose to be with in the past. And now we've 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 lived our course. Our season is over and we have to just learn how to appreciate the seasons with people that we have, because as people again, I've been in podcasting for five years now. I would cringe if I go back and listen to some of the episodes and how I used to move. Because with time comes growth and change. As people, we want things differently depending on our experiences, yeah. depending on our interactions. And those are things that we have to allow our partner to when they vocalize that, that A, I want something to where if I can't give it to you, we need to figure out what this looks like because we may need to go ahead and go our separate ways now. I think this all circles back to settling down. Mm. Like settling for... for for what's for you and what's not for you. I feel like some people get to a point in time, especially women, they'll get to a time where they'll, they'll find a guy and they'll be like, ah, he's the one. And they'll settle. And, and it's they like there. And put and up like, with some and bullshit. Then, and then people looking like, why are you there? And it's like, yo, the man upstairs, you you were supposed to keep going. It was supposed to be a stop, a moment, you good. And then when shit started to get just like this, you're like, I know there's more to me than this. So that this is just a place in my life where I got to stop and then go. I didn't, I didn't tell you, you mm. saying that brings me back to my therapy session recently. And when I mentioned crumbs earlier, the analogy was that in my previous relationship, I was accepting crumbs. And I was accepting all these crumbs from different people Damn. to fulfill myself in ways that I intense. needed to be fulfilled. Mm. And then in my last relationship, I got a slice. And I, mm. I ate that slice up and was full on the slice, still not recognizing the rest of the loaf that I deserve. Fact. And a lot of us get to where we... We pick up these crumbs and think that these crumbs are all we deserve. That when we get the slice, we're like, we finally got a slice. Not knowing, bitch, there's a whole loaf a whole and you still don't even know that there's a loaf that you deserve that you haven't allowed yourself to get yet. And that's no slight to anybody that's not the loaf. Mm. Yeah, it's for not. you. It's not. Because it's I, not. Think, and I, think, I think loaf. that's the... There's a loaf for everybody. There's a loaf for everybody. everybody. Right. You might like pumpernickel. Bitch, I like rye. I'm, I'm here I'm, for the sourdough. You know what I mean? There's different loaves. But... I'm here for the dog bread. <laughs> okay. All right. So... <laughs> okay, so you want rye. Wait, pumpernickel. Pumpernickel, pumpernickel is, is good. Pumpernickel. Pumpernickel, pumpernickel is a, is a yeah, good brown... Yeah, I know I like pumpernickel. Um, it is a good brown bread. No, I really, I really think there's something to be said about understanding the people's limitations and capacity for, for growth. In mm. general, because sometimes we outgrow people. The likely, I mean, we do. But I it, can look back on situations where I where I outgrew people. Like there were, yeah. This I, I, I told y'all last like, week yeah. or the week before, a bitch ain't going back to them dicks from the past. Nah, it's I didn't grew. I elevated. No, I didn't know from, from the past. I'm revisiting. I was. Not I forgot who it was. Ever. I was listening to the other day, and it was a comedian. He was like, "Yo, relationship is like bringing a couch up the steps." Yeah, mm. and he was like, "And Shorty's on the top, and she's bringing it up, and you at the bottom." And she's like, "Yo, lift it up," and he's like, "Yo, I can't." I can't no more. I can't do this no more. You're going to have to get somebody stronger. 
Mm. Oh. See what I'm saying? So it's like, there's a whole bunch of things that when you look at it like that, it's like, damn, like, it's not that he he wasn't trying. It's just he that- he tried, he couldn't. It's either you elevating or it's just like, you just asked for so much, I can't give you all this. You that need somebody That was such a New stronger. York analogy. I mean, it's fine. Because we got walk up, because we got walk up buildings up here. Yeah. Like, like nigga, in, in, in Florida, yeah. we have, we're- Split level. Yeah. I was like, that's why, sea level that's is what it's called. That's why y'all be married for 40 years. <laughs> hey, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Unhappy as shit. Chill. So I just couldn't imagine doing that. Y'all but need, I, Y'all need steps in your crib. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I think, I think the, the, like you said, the honesty and the communication always has that's to be first. on point and on par. But I also think that's, it's easy, it is easier said than done. I think it is, it is a lot life, harder to be honest life, with people. Life, Bridget, I dealt with a situation. It's easier said than done. I, dealt I with know, but situation. it's also some people can't be honest with themselves, so they definitely not gonna be honest Yo, with you. It was. It took me some time to be completely honest in a situation, and it happened with one of those E's that <laughs> with one of, with one of my homegirls. <laughs> Jeez, Sorry. Um, that it was just like I was so I wasn't used to a girl telling me like, "Yo, yeah, I'm I'm doing this and I'm doing that, and I'm doing that and I'm mm. doing this," and I was like, "Okay." It wasn't to like. A crazy amount where it's just like, oh, I, I can't. But it was just like, all right, you're letting me know. You give me your options up and cool. And then once I started doing it, I'm like, okay, this is something that I'm not saying I would want. This is not something I can like, mer- like something like that. But it's a situation that was cool for me at the moment. And you were I'm comfortable being, in that I'm space. I'm being 100% honest with you. Honest, what I'm doing, yeah. everything. I'm not, not going to lie. It's tough. There, but not only is it tough, A, I know I'm I'm guilty like her in oversharing. Um. <sighs> She, my I be friends, giving too much. My and everybody friend, be giving too much. My we friends be, be telling me I overshare That's how I was. At first it was but, at first it was oversharing, but then it was but like. But it becomes. But it becomes. I, like, to I me, can say the same shit. When you know you could be your full self with someone too. Oh yeah, that that's shit is when crazy. The weight of feeling like you got to show up as somebody you're not becomes so enjoyable, but also to where I don't judge you. You don't feel shame in what you're doing when you're not with me, right? And vice versa. It's a beautiful thing. It it creates just a bond with a person. That because we enter all these relationships with lies and feeling like we have to show up as someone we're not, when you find someone that you could just be like, yo, I'm taking this trip. I'm, I'm seeing this nigga this week. That's why I can't see you. And you just create this open and honesty. You will. Right now, maybe you feel like, nah, I could never marry a girl that does that. It's come tenfold. Like, I've never Some had this shit relationship. Ha- it, it can happen. And it could happen. It can happen. I want to be with someone who I know, who they've been the whole time. If you're totally mm. honest with somebody, nobody can be mad at you. Yeah. They could be upset. They could be upset. But, but you can't a- be mad because I kept it a buck from jump. And once I got through that, like, she told me something, I'd be like, damn. I'm like, all right. And then I'd tell her and they'd be like, all right, cool. I'd be like, yo, what you think? And, and it was like, we could have conversations about anything and there was no yeah. barriers. And I was like, yo, this is amazing. Not saying this is going to be forever, but right now, yeah. I understand happiness. And I understand what it is to like not have to be worried about who's going to call my phone or who's texting me because you, but it's I can also, tell you. But it's also, you can, you have, you develop a solid foundation yep. of respect for that person. That's, so that regardless when the shit ends, you're still like, can be, I can look at you and still be cool with you, still run into you, still be like, oh, what's up? Well, I'll say in that situation, she ended up lying about something. And that's why it, I was just like, I'm good. Well, oh, because yes, when you're super yes, honest with someone and then there's a lie that comes about, yeah, I'm, you I'm, just go back to questioning everything. everything. And that's how it was. Mm-hmm. It was like, it was like, yo, you didn't have to lie. You could have told me what you was doing, but instead, I thought that that's what we was you doing. Did it. And now I had to really like, fuck it out of you for you to tell me like, yeah. damn, like, not real. But you you know, out here fucking the truth out of bitches? I just, I, I just Tell ask them you a, how that no, dick no, is, right? I'll just ask you a question. I'll just Emily ask you a Rose. question that I know you won't answer. In another, so he said, let me drop this dick in you real quick, and, and I'm going to give it to you. And I'm going to ask you a good question. Like, yo, what listen, were you really doing yesterday? Listen. And then you're going to tell me. And now it's like, yo, this whole trust thing is where is it? Where is it? This got deep, y'all. Hey. We going to get into the music, baby. Cylinders? <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> y'all know this is. I hope y'all enjoy these conversations though <laughs> about these goddamn relationship woes. We need to get Ryan some more water that for you, these. Yes, eco these, gave straws. Come on. Mm-hmm. Your crew kind of good. My looking. crew got jobs. <laughs> Like they joints, but then when I, I start got asking, lawyers, yeah, I got, but that yeah, has nothing yeah. to do with what. Now nah, they joints, uh, but then when I ask around to the homegirls, I'm like, yeah, what you mean? You on. can't ask the homegirls. I can't no ask the homegirls. You, you, you know about you this mean, nigga. So this is what you, you expect. You can't ask the homegirls. Well, no you more. expect. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> black males over the ages of thirty with careers, no kids, no girls, to not get pussy. 
That's not what I said. Because we could get pussy together, but I want a nigga to move in a certain way. Mo- I, and I, most and most of those men you just mentioned are not down to move with Mandy the way that Mandy be moving. Because <laughs> Mandy want to stick. Let me keep it. Let me keep it. Don't do that. Don't she do want to stick sticks in niggas' butts. No, don't do, no, no, no. Whoa. <laughs> well, yes, Whoa. Pe- yes, Peg the stallion. No, However, I don't be pegging every nigga. Like, but it's I'm, not even just about men. Let's be fucking clear. <laughs> Mandy will take your bitch. Do not get it fucked up. Mandy and I went out for my friend's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> she would take their bitches. And not there mom. was a she's gr- attempted. There was a there was a there was a, a um there was a, a number of women in the in the space, and she was looking at one like yeah I could I'm a totally and I was like well I don't even know if she likes women she was like I mean she will <laughs> and I was like but the crazy thing oh, is she's wait, like, wait, wait, I, she's like, I'm niggas, try. but I know niggas that like that type of energy yeah but th- but then because they're not what? afraid of so, you so, taking so, a girl without him so here go Bridget here go Bridget but like, she will. Here go Bridget like, nah, I don't even think she's on that. I don't think she's on that type of the time. The next day, guess who I was with? The next <laughs> night. The next night. I said, I said you know oh, what, I got Mandy? invited out. I never put nothing past you, sis. <laughs> you got it. You fucking got it. I will never the, be mad. She got the gator. I will never knock a hustle. She got the gator. Not even the gator. Is the short hair? Sis, got I, the, sis got the power. Because look, because look, this one. <laughs> okay. I think this one. My is. girl is the pink power pump. Mandy she walks in the room. Power. Pink power she pussy. She gives, I will eat some pussy. Like she gives. You do. You do give that. I don't give wifey. No. <laughs> that eats pussy. Yes, absolutely. Whatever you want to put before no. eats pussy, you can have it all. But you Wifey, give up, dot, 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 that eats, eats pussy. pussy. Yes, pussy. whatever you want to do. Yes, and I eat but, it good. But when you walk in the room, you give off that energy. So in your mind, everybody gay. And in my oh, mind, 100%. every woman will try to I mean, but I think everyone is on the spectrum. 100%. I think everyone's a little gay. <laughs> everyone's a little gay. No, no. Women, women, women. No, everyone. women. no everyone. everyone is a little everyone. gay. Everyone. So you ain't never like been in a shower? You no. Said you were no, 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 no. Ryan's going to say no no matter what we ask Sorry. right now. Sorry. What? That's, no. I don't know. You know what? Fine. You know what? He's going to say What's no no matter was, what we ask. I know we got into hella deep conversations regarding uh, 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 relationships and shit, but... There's a ton of fucking music this week. Whoa, is there ever? Go ahead, bitch. Drop it. Give. Let's do it to him. You don't even know, Ryan, what you about to hear. But one, two, and you three. Really count, you can't count me <laughs> oh, in. No, you cannot no. count. No, because you're giving me like the marching band <laughs> count in. Like, Wait, I should the, be playing the what's tuba. What's the cool artist count in? There is no count And a one. And a two. <laughs> <laughs> even Ryan so looks confused. Up? You good? <laughs> That's not how you drop. <laughs> Look, 106 can't come back with y'all. At first, I thought y'all could have held it down, but y'all can't even get the countdown right. It's crazy. Like, right. We're gonna have the songs okay. in one, okay. two, three. <laughs> like, no, I can't right, since you give me cabaret, not Word. Saturday Night Live. Get out. <laughs> you give me the the spot, the box. We're shit. not gonna do that, both of y'all. <laughs> Go ahead. What? Yo, the fact that everyone on this couch. Joins in unison to laugh at me. Do y'all notice that this becomes a thing? And now it is time for our freshly squeezed, yeah, yeah segment, baby. That's what we do. Yeah, I'm the ass. She was trying to count me in for that. We do this every week, We're always without accounting. Listen, I know. And your girl tried to be Bob Fosse just now with accounting. <laughs> like, just calm down. Supposed to hold it down. She couldn't. Yeah. <sighs> well, what so do we? What do we have this week? To? So there's mad music this week. Quick. I not got some only, shit on my mind. You know you got some shit. Not only is there mad music, we gonna start this week off. I just want to give, can I, let me run down the list of just women that I want to shout out real quick. This is not, this is music related, but not. Tiana Taylor. Mm. She has mm. been crowned the sexiest woman alive by Amen, Maxim. Jesus. Amen. So can we that. give her a round of applause, please? We will. We because will. let's be really fucking clear. Shout out to T. We really would like to, to especially give... Give this woman her motherfucking flowers because mm-hmm. Tiana Taylor is also mm-hmm. being as being one of the few black women that's mm-hmm. the sexiest woman alive. Mm. She's also a tomboy. Mm. So her cover in her cover, she's wearing baggy fatigue pants. She killed this shit. And a she sports did. and like a sports bra kind of thing. Two kids. Oh Lord. Right. She is somebody's mother. She is somebody's wife. And she is giving you sexy in every possible way. And what's crazy is she's always been like this, always. right? She's Not only always that. been. But I remember when she was younger, even when she was a teenager, she was people, a Pharrell and all that. Even people was, that. People would say that she was Google really, me, she was very masculine. She was very androgynous. And she has literally been consistent in her presentation of who she is as a woman, as far as 
whatever, however, however, quote unquote, masculine people might have tried to pigeonhole her where with whether it's with her deep voice, which Mandy and I love, of course, we both have deep voices and <laughs> or her cheekbones or her. You know what I mean? Or her it's abs, always, or her bitch, abs. Shit. Yeah, she is. Oh, she is. I'll do a lot. She for is abs. sexy as hell. Not and enough. she has been crowned the sexiest woman alive. And it's and it is it is it is rightfully, rightfully well rightfully done so. and deserved. Uh, yes. Not only, not, yeah. Let me give her another round of applause. I do also mm-hmm. want to say she is a beautiful woman and in her interview she actually it showed matter up what like she this. Wears. She showed up like this. That's my The photographer too. said, yeah. hey, I want to shoot She's you cool just like shit. this. Love her. I, but I, I do want to say too, uh, we talk about this and this is just a, a quick drop. We are bringing you guys a Patreon. Bridget and I have been doing a ton of content yeah. on the side and what's crazy is we actually have this conversation regarding how we dress and the yep. type of attention yep. that we get whether we are in sweatpants and a t-shirt or whether we're showing cleavage and a, and a mini dress. And so we, we really dig into this conversation on one of the episodes. I'm super excited, but yes, she looks sexy. Outside of that, we're going to continue on with women because you know what? A lot of women came out with some good we music run the this world. weekend. Um, I want to first off again, and I, I've, I've, we've shouted out, we've talked about her a lot here on this podcast. Mm-hmm. Actually, both of the women I want to talk about. So Doja. Yeah. Uh, released Need to Know. This mm-hmm. is one of the singles on her Planet Hurt album that is dropping mm. June 25th. Yeah, Doja Cat, um, and as much as we have tried to cancel her for her own no. stupidity, as okay. an artist, she mm-hmm. is unmatched currently. Is it with the Dr. Luke's the sample? No. Is oh, is this sample? sample? Go ahead. I, well, I know y'all know samples. Do you know I haven't, this I haven't heard this song yet, so. You haven't heard Need to Know? No. Oh. Me neither. No, it's nope. not. No. It's not. So... It's just Dr. Luke produced it. Not only are this the is, visuals Dr. Luke joint? beautiful, I believe this so. album apparently and her visuals are based on what it would be like to have sex with an alien. Um, I've always imagined if I were going to have sex with an alien, they would have mad dicks so I could get double penetrated. I just say that to say, yes, there is tentacle porn and I've watched it. Sorry, let's listen to Doja Cat. <laughs> Some things she just never... <laughs> I never seem right. <laughs> it's crazy. They canceled her recently. Now she's <laughs> they, they did. She's, I'm used to it at this point. What? What? Canceling people. And they uh, her up. antics. Yeah, whatever. This visual is really cool. The, so, so I know she's a... What is she? Is she black? She's mixed. She's mixed. She's mixed. She's I, mixed. She's I mean, they, they tried to cancel her. I will say, too... The she identifies with her other with her white side. More. I think she identifies Way just more. as a fucking alien at this point. Honestly, I don't think she identifies. She doesn't talk about race, and she likes to be very far I mean, away she, from it. I mean, we know that she had fucking Kofi in her last video, and now there is an issue that they're like, "Oh my god, I wish Doja would have more dark skinned men." This video, she does have Asian men, um, but we saw Kofi in the streets video. Like, I think she plays to both sides. I think that she's literally herself. I don't think the video makes to the person is. I don't either. Um, I think her art. I think her. She is. She is working really, really she hard is. to make sure her artistry has Ab- very little to do with with race. With, and absolutely, she's that's why well, she's no, not even just with race, with just anything. with just her personality. With period. That has to go with her. Outside yeah, it's, of it's very, like, I, I mean, it's very gimmicky. It's very fantastic. Yeah. However, however, it's a ama- the videos. The however, phenomenal. phenomenal. I follow her, and I've been following her for a very long time. And like, so I loved. I felt like she was my body type for a long time. She lost a lot of weight. But a she was thick and weight. short and like thick as fuck. So when in that juicy video, she was thick. She was oh my god. But also <sighs> Tia and Tamara, she uh she had a Tia and Tamara uh, freestyle song and she also did Moo and she was just always just very thick and I was like oh my god there's someone shaped and short and stout like me yay not, not no more no she's definitely no. small this is her movie she's itty bitty um but I've all but to be fair y'all are saying this character I follow her she is this she's a She's a weirdo. I mean, I know she's a weirdo, and I get it. God damn. Yeah, she's see? a vibe. This, see, is, look, this is the another thing. Video. I don't think she yeah. like. I don't think she like black dudes. No, I mean, I don't, I don't know. But you know what's I crazy? Care, I feel like I, I always. I don't really care. She was in. First of all, not to side note, she was go. in a <laughs> a nigger chat. Like, <laughs> Here we go. She was in. A, she was with incels, apparently. <clears throat> However, she was there. No, she However, was there. It wasn't apparently. Yeah, you but, saw it. but but was the title of that chat? They were saying it. White men were saying yes. You can't make her accountable for the words that other people. I can say. make her accountable for getting out the chat, or I can make her accountable for saying uh, some something. Well, either but way, in my if mind, if she's, that, if she's she don't role, like if she's role playing in that capacity, you know what I mean. Well, it could have been race play. 
Do you race play? Yeah, you really. Oh, I don't do race play, but I'm. I understand kinks and I understand fetishes. That ain't I her, man. You don't know that. Hold on, we don't hold on, know hold on. Her. Is race play? I don't know anything about so, this. So race so play. So race play is a very, very real thing. So there wow. are white men that that go out of their way to be with white women, and realistically, they also engage in the conversation. Like, hey. I want you to tell me that I'm a piece of white trash or as a black woman, I want to call you the N word. Like, and there I've actually interviewed someone recently that was okay with that type of play. So you don't know again, right. That's on, why I on, asked. on the internet, those are very plausible things. So yes, and did someone record it? And was it crazy? Do I we know the full you. extent? No. However, I'm also someone that doesn't kink shame. You know, I peg niggas. I done done golden showers. I did a whole bunch of little. Yes, everything. but you say, what your stuff is at this point in time, she was a big enough artist that you have. No, you can't. She you wasn't can't, though. But in in my mind, then I'd rather you tell me that's what you're into than me thinking like you racist. But but to be fair, that sounds good. But as a society, we are not accepting of the things that people are into sexually yeah, or but, even relationship wise. We see how even Jada and Will. Their whole we're thing. Not, we're like, not. We're not necessarily. But I think. But I think what I like opens. Play. But Listen, I think. But I think what so opens. So get out the room. But also, what opens that conversation up is the fact that as an artist, you're dressed like an alien or you're dressed mm. like something fantasy based 90% of the time. The I, think she, stuff. I think she's already laid the groundwork for us to accept whatever she wants to present because everything is so fantastical, fantastical. Mm. on on a on a much on an aesthetic level. So I don't even I don't think there should be any concern at this point about what her what her likes and dislikes are if they're kinky. But I'll say this. I don't fuck with it. She's cool. Mm-hmm. Music's dope. But I think there's something behind that door that No, I, I definitely I think there's some self loathing. The shit there. just got closed. I think COVID there's some self loathing there. But I don't I don't I'm, in my so, mind as an artist, there's no one else performing at the at the level, at the level of her that she's Absolutely performing not. right now, which makes me sad because I also think that other talent like Chloe and Halle, other talent Ooh, like Normani, who also don't get necessarily Ari. Ari who don't necessarily get the shine and get Ari the has time. Vocals, but Ari is not putting on the performances. No, that Ari, no but Ari has the same level of penmanship that this girl Ari has. Can, Ari can do the same music and just because she's not... Dancing and half naked like this all the time. Well, and you she see, don't be half naked all the time. Don't do that. Don't do that. Just because you're dressing an alien in a thong Doja, don't mean you have naked. Don't just half naked most of the time. Thank you. I don't want. I, we can look up any one of any her video. visuals, and she's half naked most of the time. It's not a. It's not a it's criticism. It's not a bad. It's not bad. She's it's a just, bad bitch. It's not a what, criticism. Now, it's Ari really just the reality with, of it. I'm gonna leave with my body, y'all. even though she's starting to do it. I now, was about to say, Ari's now, doing it now. Now, she all, is, all so of the is girls SZA. are doing it now. Yeah, but SZA's doing it now too. SZA all wasn't of the girls doing it before doing it either. But this is every time. You're not catching the art. You don't even really catch a lot of Ari videos where she had naked. Nah, at all. And more importantly, I mean, it's based than, on the music. More too. importantly than that, she has a full bodysuit on. In I this guarantee it don't stay on the whole video. Look, she's naked, bro. Yo, you have naked. It's okay. No one's insulting her. It's not a bad <laughs> thing. Just because you think it's you, cute, no, don't mean no, it's not no, but you, Yeah, but you also know what my problem is. She's in a bathing suit, and now we're saying she's half naked. That's the problem with when Instagram girls are posing in bathing suits. That's suit, not even bathing suit. Like that's, some half, not, that's some what oh, that's the some only, the only, shit. The only point, <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's what I mean. The only point that's being made is that it's, it contributes to the, uh, the, fanta- the fantasy aesthetic. It's got less to, she's not out here necessarily selling sex. She's selling an, an alien fantasy. She's selling something that is, that is completely beyond reality. It's not half naked? No, that's a dress with heels. The dress is in the air. <laughs> what? We're not gonna do that. Either way, but, it's but not about. Though. I'm not. I'm not making this about sex at all. What no. I'm. What I am saying is the fact that there is other talent out there as well that is that is equally deserving. Absolutely. Of the space and the spotlight, and it doesn't get the same space and the spotlight mainly because aesthetically, it's not as it's not as as pleasing to the masses as Doja Cat is. Absolutely. That's all I'm saying. To the eye. Well, to the eye. Well, like, what? look at this visual. Look how incredibly it's beautiful. Oh, her like, visuals are, are the colors, amazing. the what use does? of texture. I mean, even the video with her and Sweetie. She's it's literally fun. naked, jumping off a cliff with Sweetie. Like, but does this for, the video, the car, the hair, the fashion? Cra- Yo, her everything is amazing. Be retarded. But do you also think this is to over? And I don't mean to like. Are we allowed ch- to use that R word? What? Oh, retarded. Probably <laughs> yeah. not. Probably not. Right. I said retarded. Right. You said it's retarded. If you oh. call something, is that? If I call something, all right. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever. We're, we're saying it in a, as, as, as being I'm complimentary. Saying it's, I'm saying it in a way, is it, is it the same just because she has 
they're doing all these great visuals. Not saying she wouldn't do it in general, but it's a cover up a little more so we don't dig deeper into what we saw in that chat room. No. Because if you give out a whole bunch of great shit, you forget about the shit that's, that's there. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of people aren't forgetting about it because it's still, visually, it's, some of it is still overtly sexual for some people. That's how they're receiving it, even if that's not what she's intending. She just dressed up as a huge vagina. Yeah. I love it. I think it's great. I don't I think, think there's anything wrong. I think she's amazing. I don't think there's nothing I'm wrong I'm not qualifying it. it as right or wrong. I'm just saying that the narrative that's been pushed about her, and it sucks because it only ever happens but to But here's women. the thing, it's not even hard because we can go into and and... While we're talking about this, let's lead into also the conversation then. Meg the Stallion dropped that shit. Yeah. Now, yeah, I want to play a little... See? So we'll Are get you? into that. Wait, let's get into it. How many so times are you going to shake your ass? Don't do that. The same way. How many drugs, the same are, how many drugs are rappers going to sell? Stop I, it. That's not what I listen to. I'm an R&B kid. I think Me that too. we need outside oh, music. look at Casey. Shout out to Casey. That's Casey, by the way. Oh, I don't know Casey. <laughs> She's a dancer. She has for Beyonce and all that, too. I love this video. I love the aesthetic, and I love that they have gotten her out of voice. I just love Meg's voice. I love yeah. her rapper voice. But, okay, does every record not sound the same? <laughs> or am I? Is, is I that the elephant in the room? Like, <laughs> I'm just asking. Does every record not sound the same? And does she not do the same? This is a dope video. Ass shake in every yeah. video. Okay, before we get to that, let's let this ride a little bit. All right. Because we're going to shout out the rap artists. Let's go. Women more artists. Okay, this looks great. All right. I'm getting moist in here. Okay, so I'll be honest with you, Ryan. That is what everyone is saying. I'm not going to lie. This sounds like uh, hot girl shit. Uh, hot girl shit. Or Tell like the whole album. All right. I mean. <laughs> any, any, I won't say the whole album. I'll say anything that we see hit videos or mainstream of the radio, they all sound alike. Um, here's the thing. The same thing has been said about the baby. The same thing has been said about... Someone mm -hmm. like a young thug, mm -hmm. the baby. Not thug, not thug, mm -hmm. not thug, not, not baby not, either. The, not the baby. The baby, not the, little baby. Not the little baby's baby. biggest record to date is the the rock star record. His shit, and that's all a pop song. No, that's a pop no, no, no. song. That doesn't sound like no, no. anything else. That uh, he okay. has the same cadence this, and flow on all said, his shit, said. which is the cadence. No, and the flow. cadence and the flow, sure. But this as far as the track and the beat, you know this because you're in the studio a lot. When somebody punches in, we know when it's just punching. Correct. Punch now, does he just do that? Yes. He sits there, he, he does his line, ah, da, 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 punch, ah, da, 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 punch. Ah, da. So that's why it's going to sound the same. Does he have other sounding records? Kind of, but his verbiage and the way he says it is always the same. So well, I, I will say that too. Then maybe, that. maybe going back to Doja, that's probably why Doja is able to flow and sound so different than anyone else. Uh, I, I, so because my, she raps and sings. Well, not only, well, not only the rapping and singing, uh, my homeboy, shout out to Ron Rock City. I've shouted him out a ton of times. He did the song Best Friends. Mm. Uh, okay, talking about St. But, Thomas Rock City. Yes, that's my guy. That's my guy. So when he he I, he's brought me into the studio, and he's the only person I'll even go into the studio because it's not groupy vibes. But he's brought me into the studio, and he's, it's gonna be groupy vibes when she come in the studio with me. Just so y'all know. Oh, she's oh, gonna be on the ad libs. Watch. Ooh, put me on the ad libs. I just want to moan. Uh, You're not gonna uh, moan. Uh, we're not moaning. Okay, sorry. We're not, um, that's we're the not. only type of ad libs I want to do. But he told me Doja, <laughs> Doja will literally bring it all the way back. And I, what? I'm sorry. That's how, just how I am. Okay? I'm, I'm here for it. But Doja will bring it all the way back and wrap it. So I want to ask you then, do you believe, and, and you as an artist, do you believe that Meg is then punching, which is why it sounds the same as all the other songs? Ryan is yeah, shaking his head. Yeah, I do. Profusely. I do. <laughs> Y'all would agree. I do. It's, you do? It's yeah. da -na 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 -na. And then they just add it all together. No, you just, after a punch is just, you stopping it. And then they get their breath and then they do their next line. Then you, you mm -hmm. stopping it. Mm -hmm. So when you hit a baby, it's like, it's the same kind of cadence on that side. It's like a little bit, then a little bit. Unlike other rappers who just keep going and stuff like that. It's like, nah, you can kind of hear it. There's no breath. It's just, None. doop, ah. doop, doop. Well, I do think that after a year, we didn't have a, a summer at all last year. Right. So I'm okay with Meg coming out with this after her 
after her, even though that shit, girl, you out here booed up with party. So I don't I'm know thinking, what type of that but I want, shit you really finna be doing. That's why she said it's a hot girl summer and my man gonna pick me up after. And I feel you, sis. <laughs> me too. But my thing is this. Like, <laughs> no, too. we didn't have a summer and then you did all that hot girl shit last year and everybody was playing it and then you got a man now. Shit, man. For me, I'm thinking just elevate a little bit more. Talk about a little bit more to me. You could you could don't have to talk about necessarily your relationship, but get a little deeper. Man, y'all be requiring that out of women rappers, and y'all never sit here and say, "I want Wayne to talk about more." I want Wayne actually talks about a lot. Yeah, but Wayne talks about okay, a lot. Okay, maybe not Wayne. Person. See, I don't know. Give me someone else. Give me someone else. You give me somebody else. It's you your argument. I don't need to. I'm a you give me thing. someone I'm else. Cancel myself with this argument. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna let you kill yourself. <laughs> Fuck it. No. <laughs> I just feel like y'all are mad when women talk about money, when they talk about sex, when they talk about being a hoe. Not y'all. I love when women talk about money. Me too, but it's the men. It's the men and a lot of the audience that seem to have a problem. No, I love it, but I don't feel like you got to just show your ass and just talk about that all the time. The thing that I would that I would like is like if I talk about money, I just flash my dick all day. Oh, my thing is Meg literally said she was taking a break. She did like a month or so. Like a month or two ago. She was on break for about three months. That's no, she My wasn't. Is, That's not. She wasn't. She wasn't on the break. She was still posting with her with her boo, with her boo. and mm. still. Yeah, nah. That's not really a break. When you tell me you taking a break, sis, I don't want to hear from you for six months, and then I want you to come back and be like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm in love. This is what we did. My my problem is, and this is not a this is April not even. 20, oh wait, yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, even, that April was that was a month that was, and a half ago. A not even. Ago. <laughs> you didn't take no time that's off. Not much, like, that's girl. a six week break. <laughs> you, you didn't take time off. You you got a little relationship, and you made the same music. It wasn't no time off. Right just, in my mind, right. Mm. This is this is the problem I have with with most artists that have come out in the last two to three years. You haven't lived enough life to mm. talk about enough diverse things yet. Like that's part of the reason why I love like when we when we talked about the Chloe and Halle thing. Literally, Chloe's coming into her own as a mm-hmm. woman. That next project is gonna be crazy good because she's living her life now. So mm-hmm. now we're gonna get a taste of who of, of the woman that she's becoming. Right, fine is what she's becoming. She's been fine, but she I'm is. saying I'm saying that she's growing, and we're watching with her at the, in real time. So whatever she's gonna talk about in her music next is gonna be phenomenal. Artists aren't giving themselves enough room to breathe and live a little so that they can then write from experience and come back and do what I, like think about it. Some of, most of our favorite artists don't release records every every month. They don't. And she been on it for the last like two, three, two years solid. Who, Megan? Meg's been dropping. She has Meg been, has been dropping. Yeah, but a but lot. what I say is when you look at this video right here, mm-hmm. what is different about this video? Than all her other ones. Oh no, I love this video. I love. Th- no, I'm not gonna lie. This video is a little different. You love the Cardi this B video, one too. No, this yeah, video you, is different. This video is actually giving to me. Um, this should give you a little more story. It's story. I love. I love yeah. a little this more is, story. This is, this is the baby. Oh, like it has the fact the, that the it's graphics, yeah, the visuals, it's literally it's the, the, the play. Yo. The play is on the fact that white people secretly Ludacris, love the baby and Megan Stallion all make the same kind of videos. So. I get it. Yeah, I love it. I just no, like I like to see a woman do it. I, I, I do also, like to see a woman do it because like there's a lot a of there's a lot of white men who but, fetishize black women I, in this I, way. I, but my thing is, can I just see a little bit? Is it wrong for me? To, I ask for more for all the artists. Wanna, I like. You want to see her in a turtleneck? No, no. Like, no. I want to see her. I want to see her rapping about some other shit besides shaking her ass. Is that is that too much? To but she also talks about in, in, amidst shaking her ass. She talks about I'm almost done with college. I didn't got. I just had a test. How many times you gonna say that? We heard that two years ago. You nigga, college is four years. Come. Down. She's going to college though. Yeah, but no, she graduates this year. She's she's just finishing. So up, I think just because I talk she... about shake my ass and I'm about to graduate for, for two years straight, that makes me I don't need to do nothing else. Like I how long you... how long were we okay with listening to Jay Cole talk about his degree and and Jay going Cole, to college? First of all, Jay Cole talks about so much more in every song than Megan has ever. To, do you listen to full projects from from uh, I've listened Meg? To, I've listened to Megan's full projects and it has no comparison to Jay Cole's lyrics at all. Yeah, but I wouldn't say that all of Meg's projects sound exactly the same. But but all of Jay, they, but all they of, don't. All of J. Cole's albums mean something wordfully, spiritually, mm. meaningfully. You can't tell me. You can't tell you. You as a man can't tell us what's meaningful for women. But J. Cole well, is just not the right. How she raps and what she's J. talking Cole about. Like, this is this just man's not whole mouth this. is a vagina. Is a vagina. That's crazy. But J. This Cole and Megan Thee Stallion are just not the two people to compare. You can compare Megan with another rapper, and I'll be like, I'll be on your side. But yeah, which is fine. Your but equivalence get, just was yeah, 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 but, well, and, and that's fine. But then you sitting here saying you want Meg the Stallion to talk about something different, and then y'all don't. I say, want the baby to talk about something different. Yeah, too. yeah, but y'all also aren't sitting here fucking uh, caping for No Name when No Name came out and said the things that she said to the male rappers. Y'all trashed a woman 
artist who is willing to talk about something. I don't even more. know who you're talking about. Exactly. So it, my point exactly. You said y'all you trash. You no, said y'all no, trash. I'm saying, I'm saying and men, I don't know what you're talking about. Men, men with the issue and Meg the Stallion and wanting her to talk about more, there are artists like Rhapsody and No Name and all these other artists that have everything else to talk about. Rhapsody's fire. Y'all don't Rhapsody give no play fire. to. Y'all don't talk about though. Dreezy is fire. Dreezy yeah. is fire. Are you Dreezy talking is about them? Cole Ray is Who? fire. We talk about them here on the podcast. Okay, absolutely. so if you Bia, talk about them, I'm going to talk about them. And we're going to bring up Megan, so I'm going to tell you, I feel like I want more from Megan. Mm. What you want more from her? I want more shit lyrically. I want more shit. I, I, that's what I want. Her flow is crazy. That's yeah, the thing. And, they, and maybe... The, it be consistent, just like you said. The baby shit sound the same. This shit be sounding the same to me, and it sounded the same to you. You admitted it. I like it. It made me want to And my I ass. get it. I'm not mad that you don't like because it it's not a like or dislike thing. It's what Ryan wants to see is growth. I still think she's very new to be expecting so much growth. Mm. Fucking so, Nicki Minaj was in her gimmicky era. You want a Grammy? For a year. You want a Grammy? You want a Grammy? You want a Grammy? You want a Grammy? You want a she Grammy. just won a Grammy. So that's your growth. Do you know how long it takes to, to create an album? She was creating this album. Do I know the, how long it takes to create an album? Of course Absolutely. you do. Exactly. So you bringing up a Grammy that she just won a month or two ago. If, if, now you want change after all, a Grammy. First of all, you can't, you can't equivalent time in the 2020 area to time in, in 1990 or, or, or 2000 when it took a little more to become who you are as an artist. I'm not saying she's an overnight success because she isn't because there's always five years you don't see before you get that. Right. But I'm also saying in two years... These, these young kids and our listeners now is in one ear today and out, out one ear then. So she right. has to put out this much music to stay relevant, yeah. which means she can put out more music that's just not based on shaking your ass. Well, I guarantee you we're about to get some shit because she's so. dating you Party. And, this, and Party's a wonderful writer. And this is what I'm saying. So Thank she's you. about to get Dig into... in that bag. She baby. probably it's will It's a be. great relationship for both of them. Party's going to be the greatest record you could... As, not right. the greatest you'll ever get, but as at this time, it's great. Put your lady on, right? But write some more meaningful shit than just... My knees are strong. But me I mean, it, it wasn't different than the, the not my the, knees are strong. Than the record, <laughs> than, than what party did with Cardi. No, these are the we same may still moves. get the same shit. I mean, <laughs> same, the same. First off, you know how hard I this know, is. I know, but most of the men, no, we not, do the same. Da- we do the same in the bar I class. Have the, I don't have the girls that's dancing. <laughs> the in this way video. that my and knees, I get it. the way we were in bar The way that my knees are Rice Krispies. Nigga, Chris Brown flips off the stage. You don't think I think like, damn? I wish I could do that shit. First off, but men are more athletic and can do different things. We're not. Start see, that. See, we're not gonna we start do that, that because we're they always start like that. <laughs> men always say they can do this and that, and it's like you just said we're more athletic. Because Serena Williams is Serena Williams is the greatest athlete alive, so we're she not is, gonna do this. But then we also just talked about Caitlyn Jenner and Bruce and the difference between trans sports. So there's that too. Bruce, I just say that to say. Let's go on to the next song. Let's Let's carry on. Um, on someone mouth. else with crazy. Carry someone on. else with a common cadence that I just wanted to make mention to, and I don't think I'll play anything from their album. Um, although if I was going to play anything, it would be, um, they, as y'all know, Migos dropped Culture talk. 3. Migos um, dropped a good project. And I would just play this in the background. And Migos, honestly, this is not shit. something that I ever would have listened to. And my, and my, and my man made us, made us listen to it in the car the other night. It's good. No skips. That's when I went to meet Sean the other day. And yeah. I, we walked into uh, Delilah. And I'm like, yo, why is there a DJ? He was like, I don't know. And then I started seeing people I know. I was like, yo, what's going on? And they're like, yo, it's, it's the Migos, Migos listening. Party. I said... I'm just having You're like I just came for dinner Typical LA shit Typical LA shit I'm gonna play this In background But they do of course Have Cardi Featured on this album And it's wonderful And I'm also I'm gonna admit to y'all But please don't tell nobody I really like the Justin Bieber record, but y'all didn't hear it here. I hated to Beavis admit it. in the building. Oh my god, because I hate. I, I had to drag Justin a lot on Why? this. Why Justin Bieber? Is he amazing. had dreads. You don't hate Justin. Bro, I don't hate him. Justin's music is. But I don't be liking to like is big up the white man on this podcast. Say sorry. I love me. You love that song. That whole album. Like no, but I also don't like to big shout up white people Bear. on this platform. That's okay. Yeah. We can shout out Pooh Bear because he's black and he's responsible for that project yeah. and uh-huh. that song. Um, but no, Look, uh, Usher. A little usher. A little usher. If you haven't yet, please, please, please download or purchase uh, Culture 3. It's way better than Culture 2. Um, but they have Juice World on there. They have Justin Bieber. The they Juice have World. Who's the best rapper in the game? The Juice World. Well, you said what? Who's the best rapper out of those three? T- take uh, off. Take off. Oh my God. Take when off, I tell y'all, I don't I know. I just want to make sure everybody minds on the same page. What's crazy is that, I posted that, that shit free, yesterday. That freestyle. <laughs> that freestyle from Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. Wait, did you see the nah, Jimmy Kimmel? Nah, 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 just Jimmy, the nah. Just Incredible. You gotta watch. You gotta watch the Power 106 from LA. Jimmy Kimmel's gonna be a little. What is that? The what is it called? There's another freestyle. Is it the same freestyle with, with the black and white logos in the back? That's Power 106. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's LA. Can I that's ask just you, incredible. Is it, is it because... This right here. Is it because he's the LA, LA leakers? leakers? Yes. Is it because he's not attached to a celebrity woman? Why does Takeoff no, 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 not no, no, get... No. If, you, if you know their story, Takeoff yeah. is, is Quavo's nephew. Okay. Um, 
he was the first rapper out of all of them, and he was the best. So he would write for Quavo, and sh- oh. it, so it started like that. And then they uh, Offset came in last. He saw them in school passing out their mixtapes and was like, everybody was laughing at them niggas like, y'all shit is whack. And, all, and he was like, yo, I, I, I fuck with y'all shit. So they brought him in and that's how they became a group. But the main rapper has always been oh, Takeoff. Wow. So, but he's just quiet. So for me, Takeoff's the best rapper. Oh my God. Offset but is it, the best dresser. Also, and Quavo has the most st- star appeal. It's also to me though, the voice. Because Fight Night is probably my favorite song from Migos mm. on top of Freak No More, which y'all again, will hear on Patreon if y'all mm. want to tune in and, and become a patron. Great song. But his tone is just so. If you know me, you know the same. Over. He's like, like it's no so deep. It's like, right. in the old, hey. it's like the old R and B groups. Then you get the hello. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see you. He like, was, like, like he was giving me my go from voice like, to man. It's like he don't. It's, I'm not gonna say he don't care, he don't but try. it's just it's just it's, it's just regular. Him. Like I'm naturally Uh-oh. gifted at at rap. Y'all are naturally gifted at you know turning it up, clothing and shit. He was like, I can play my card. I can sit back and just rap. And y'all going when y'all understand like. It took a lot, a long time for certain people to be like, yo, he's actually the best rapper in the group. He is. Because someone, of certain situations. Someone I saw on Twitter, somebody referred to him as the Jadakiss. Yeah, he I'm is. The locks. He's actually the Jadakiss. And y'all just don't know I'm saying, is. he's just, he's the best rapper. Like really I said, is. Offset the best dresser and Quavo is the, the, star, the star quality. The star quality, And yeah. that's yeah. a group. I, they all need each they're other. They're so cute. And, mm-hmm. and it's not taken away from anybody's lyrics because they're all nice. Right. And especially they learned over time, but it's like... They're just a they're just a group that Shout at least that, that recognizes Shout their talent off, and man. they um they recognize they recognize their strengths as individuals. Take off did they not get left off it. of bad and bougie. He did not. <laughs> Do it look like I got left off? Does it look like I got left off bad and bougie? Definitely don't. <laughs> um, and that's why Quavo was the first one to stand up. Hey. Um, well, I know you got some R and B for us, baby. Yes, you know I do. So my 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 little bro, Tone Stiff. Who I love so much. We have the same uh, tour manager. Love Tone Shout Stith. out to Sivo. Shout um, out Tone Stiff. Tone Stiff is really dope. He's an incredible art. Well, I'll call I'll call him an R and B artist, but I feel like he is really he's just mix. he's an alter. I'll call mm-hmm. we'll call him an alternative R and B artist. Um, he From dropped, Chicago, right? He dropped a project, yes, called uh, "Fuck with Me" FWM, mm. and it's just a solid R and B project. And um, Can I song, guess which one you finna play? The song that I love is I mean there's two that I love When You Love Someone I know. Featuring her is great <laughs> But the one that I wanna play Is called When I'm With You mm. um, And it's really To me it's just It's a sexy vibe we, I, Mandy and I have been working out Every single morning And I've been yeah. like Going home and trying to take Epsom salt baths Cause you know <laughs> a bitch is old So <laughs> This is what I listen to in the tub And it's just a good <laughs> It's a good little R&B vibe Is this gonna make me cry? Cause you no, know I'm experiencing a breakup no. tub? Yeah. I ain't take a bath. With the candles. Come on, Ryan. With the candles. Come on, Ryan. Damn, I ain't have one of those. No. Looking for a lady. <laughs> Likes to, um... <laughs> that's when you like to talk Likes to songs. spend her own money. Likes to spend her own money. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> give me one sign. All I need is one time. You can keep going, bitch. Hey. He performs a lot up here. Yeah. He's always in Jersey. Where's he from? Uh, Chicago. Chicago originally. But she, he's here. He lives, he lives in, yeah, he lives he's in LA, but. Wait, wait, before the world was shut down, he was here a lot. On your body. Sing it, girl. Right? My shit. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Go ahead. You gonna give us some Ryan. If I knew the words. <laughs> They're right there. No, 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 no. The people don't know that. <laughs> the words is not here. <laughs> it's got, a little, got a little Justin in there. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Justin got it from him. Let's not yeah, play not. I, Come on. Yeah. Let's not give the colonizers the soul. <laughs> Jesus. Talking about he got, got something from got the white that. man. Yeah, so that's that's called When I'm With You and that's like by that. Tone Stiff. I really like yes. that. I definitely got a song. You got a song? Oh, of course Ryan got a song. You better have a song. I, I, I'm not going to play it right no, now. No, you gotta yes, you no, gotta, I, I got to play it. I didn't I didn't pull it up. We, well, pull it up. <laughs> Tell us who it is. I, I want to shout out. Uh, you, you know who it is. That's why, you know, it's my it's my people. Oh, oh. fuck. Is it somebody I know? Is it someone I know? Definitely somebody you know. <laughs> don't oh, don't do that, Ryan. Damn, I don't Andy. know anyone. I am by myself and do not the know lies. anyone. The <laughs> Yay. Oh. <laughs> Where's yeah. the one? 
Ye gonna come on the podcast. He just hit me like, yo, tell us what up. I was, then I thought I was like, yo, you just <laughs> all right, all right. I could, I but could I tell him I said it. what up myself. Because I don't know if it's on DSPs yet. Please, DSPs. You look, not you getting his... the exclusive. Nah, can you play, right. Like, can you just play? He's well, dropping he, his music well, industry well, lingo. Well, Ryan, Ye, did nobody come here? Shout for out that? to Ye because he is. Well, <laughs> he's dropping something once a week, right? Certain, certain people, yeah, but certain people gotta understand. I'm not dumb. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm very smart. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta say stuff that be like, oh, you had a job before. I gotta say certain <laughs> things, and it's like, uh, right, oh, he knows his see. music shit. Okay, yeah, so he. Let me see. Damn, y'all put me on the spot. Yeah, you better. But play I some told good you this. Yes. You oh, playing I, info? Nah, nah. This just, this just. <laughs> nah, that's not it. Right? Right? Do you want me to? Man, he's like, down? this is my friend too. You playing? <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Which one are you gonna play? It's this song, right? Nah. Shout first. out to Yay Ali. Oh no, this is right here. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. This gives you the R and B. No vibes. single. No single. Hold on. Let wow. Me give, let me give you the air horns. <laughs> you know you heard it first. <laughs> Mm. Mm. You can play that. Turn it up a little bit. This is such a Ryan beat. It's on you. It's not on me. No, that's on you. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Thanks, Parks. See what I'm saying? A little vibe. Mm -hmm. It's like driving in the whip, top down. This is LA. Malibu. This is driving in the whip in LA. Malibu. Anytime I say driving in the whip, Mandy's it's like, this is LA. LA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see it. You got the shorty nice on the trees, you know? Feel it. Close the eyes. Feel it up. Oh, oh, I feel it. And I close my eyes. Lord, you probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet you have. Um, yeah. That's, that's my man, Ye Ali. At a Shout out to Ye Indianapolis. Uh, lives in LA. We're going to get him boy. on a freshly squeeze. That's, uh, my, that's definitely my guy. I've known yeah. since college. What's I'm, the name of this song? No Attachments. No Attachments. No attachments. Yay yeah. Ali. You know what's crazy? I'm, I might be even getting back into that phase of the No Attachments oh, thing. Oh, I think you're already there. I mean, I am. I'm in the streets, but I kind of like attachments, but I also like No Attachments at the same time. It's very weird. I'm trying to... I'm in therapy. I'm trying to figure out what it is I like. <laughs> <laughs> F -Y FYI, that's FYI. made a for everything now. You know what? I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy. We're trying, trying to get whatever, whatever, your, whatever your fucking problem is, I'm, I'm I don't care because I'm in therapy. I'm working, I'm working through, through it. it. I accepted it. I'm working it. through it. It's accepted. I'm trying to figure myself oh out. My yeah, he God. doesn't have visuals for this uh, to some extent. If this is, maybe yeah. not. Um, I mean, the this, stuff just came out. This is a YouTube page, yeah. Uh... This was not when the song came out. It was just some visuals, just I guess. Some visuals, but the yeah. song just dropped last week, and then he's dropping one every week. One That's every week dope. this year, Good I think, yeah. is so what that, he said. Like, yeah, and, he's been and, my boy. And, and if y'all want to know too, like his penmanship. I mean, I know he works a lot Facts. with Eric Production Bellinger, too, Eric mm -hmm. Bellinger, Chris uh, Brown, but also Chris Brown. He does a lot for Chris Brown. Yeah, so and so, pretty much all of my favorite songs. And to know him, it's like he really did all this shit by himself. Like, no, yeah. for sure, he. Every session there. he got, he pushes his way in. And I, I've known him since college. He used to, crazy, he used to date my cousin. That's how we met. Okay. We, he went to IU. I went to Purdue. They dated it. And then they broke up and we were still cool. He would come stay at my crib. like, And we've been cool since 2000 and, was that seven? Mm. Oh, so, a long time, yeah. yeah. And then he moved to LA. I'm in LA. So it's like it's like family at this point. So right. it's always good to see my people like do their thing. And it's crazy because nobody really, nobody can put a face to Ye's name. Yeah, they can. No, now. The girls can. Yeah, now. Do you know how many times he'll post and people be like, this is what you, girls will be like, this is what you look like? And I'll be like, yo, <laughs> y'all serious? Like, y'all can really do some research. But it's wow. just good to see that kind of vibe to know he's been out so I long. I mean, but to people... be fair, a lot of producers don't have faces to us. No. Exactly. I mean. It's like football players. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> my fault. It's like football players. My fault. I ain't yeah, no, nah, it is. It is like football players. Um. So do we have any more? There's a lot of music I do want to give. Uh. An honorable mention as well to St. John. He dropped a record with SZA, I believe, for the mm. um, Space Damn, Jam we're soundtrack. Gonna, we're not going to play St. John? I mean, I'm not going to hold you. So we're not going to play that? I on. literally just spoke of St. John because he's fine as fuck. You're gonna play but I want to hurt it. You're not going to play a Kirk Franklin? No, I'm sorry. We, no. Lil Baby? Wait, did that just drop this song? Week? Is this on the soundtrack? Wait, Kirk up? Franklin just did something with Lil Baby. Yes. He did something with Da Baby now, too? No, he's talking with Lil Baby. I Nigga, that's old. This. You're weak. You're weak. Old, but you said Space First Jams. Up, I brought that. Space oh. Jams. This just dropped. But I'm saying they're all on Space well, Jam. That's I why I said hear that. This, um, I'm sorry. You want to hear the St. John record? I'm here. Oh, you here wanna, we go. You want to hear St. John? You want to hear Kirk no, Frank? No, we all. No. I want to hear St. John. Kirk Frank Jr. Fire. Don't do that. Well, St. John. This St. John, my guy. Yeah. It's I'm, very I'm here. festival vibe. I'm here. I'm here. This is like your song you played last week. 
I mean, by child, yes. <laughs> yes, this is child just- <laughs> is the shit. I'll take Coachella over Rolling Loud any day. Oh, yeah. Bitch, I'm going to Rolling Loud. But I love Jay Cole headlining on too. Saturday. I love Rolling Loud just because where it's at. Yes. Like Miami. Spicy, spicy, spicy. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought I was gonna have to go to LA Rolling Loud. We are going. That, that bad boy is coming to New York in October. Cool. Same exact lineup. J. Cole I don't, I don't, on, on I don't Friday. Wanna, I don't want to be here for the... I'm being the LA one. I'm being Miami one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to the LA one. I'm not one. going to the Miami one. Miami, Miami one, one in July. It, Miami one is lit. They, they all going to... Lit. Yeah, I no, like they this be shooting a lot. Too much. Live. It is a gun Live. state. It is a gun state. First of Let all. Let me go to the state. All right, right. Can, can we guns? listen to the song? Okay, sorry. <laughs> all right, sorry, guys. You must have not seen Live at, at the joint. This sounds like um. Sounds like some white people. This is the type of shit the weekend does. <laughs> except is... I would rather watch St. John with no shirt, with no Absolutely. shirt, than fucking <laughs> the weekend with all the bruises and bandages. <laughs> now I gotta find the song. It sounds like. Sing, SZA. Come on, SZA. That's it. Okay, so there we go, baby. Do you know what? I, do you sound know, like uh, Khalid better. Do you know what oh, I love? Do you know like what Khalid. I love about SZA? Oh, you your your ear was there. Your, you your, know what your, I love about SZA? If you've ever been to a Mandy, this is this is something I'm gonna put you on. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> you're a dick. The thing, the thing that I love about SZA and Mandy, I will put you onto this, right? Uh-uh. Sometimes, as songwriters, when we go in the studio, right, we will hum melodies to the song to try to come up with something, right? Every melody that SZA writes to sounds like the demo melody that she came up with the first first time she (laughs) went into the booth. (laughs) Parks in my buggy. (laughs) Like every time, the way the movement of her melody is so all over the place that it sounds like she just went in. (laughs) And then she just fills it in with words. And then just adds she words. She throws words in it. She just throws words instead of whatever melody comes to her first, the first round, right? And usually we go in like 50, 11 times to get a Not melody 50, that 11. we like. Oh, she get one. one. She went in one time and was like, nah, this is the one. One shot kill with I'm the I'm going to just put words to this shit, shit to right do. here. SZA, SZA the illest. She said, I got shit to do. I got fuck shit with her. to do. This is some good shit, SZA. No, but it, it definitely sounds like better. It does sound like better. It, your ear, I just for me. I see yeah. why you out here being a fake A and R and shit. Chill. First it's not oh, there, fake. Oh, wait, you're a real one. It was real. <laughs> oh, oh wait, you're a real. <laughs> I ran a whole label. <laughs> oh, thanks. I, I'm sorry. Art, artist, yo, artist, Ryan gra- hates me. Just artist, Ryan yo, hates me. yo. Now you got, now you got to run the stats. Artist Grammy nominated that from an indie. Grammy, okay. From an indie. Okay. Which, I shall know we, you shall you we do label the drop? Shall we label drop? Do are y'all gonna label no, I drop? I don't I don't work there no more. We don't pay me no more. Okay, but just I know, know right. I signed the artist first record deal at an indie mm. and he was Grammy nominated off a project I put him on. Shout but it's Jit. cool, you know. <sighs> shout, shout out to Jit. Well <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, oh shout out to Guap. Shout out to Guap. Guap oh, well, he's our friend here. Yeah, he's Guap. a friend of the show. He's a friend with benefits. Not officially yet because he hasn't joined us on the couch, but hopefully he does soon. That's my well, guy. Do, right? We love Guap Dad. Yeah. It has to come. Uh, shout out Guap Dad. We, he phoned in that was just, That's just a little bit of my uh, I ain't mad at you. resume. Talk, talk your shit, yeah. King. No, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So, but I know that y'all are like, damn, we, I know, I think the last two, three weeks we've given y'all episodes less than two hours. Yeah. Y'all are being spoiled this week. Yeah. Um, I do want to get into real quick TV. The, what happened? TV. Oh, I was real quick going to say the it? shit we don't yeah. care about. Oh. And it is these motherfucking cicadas oh. that I... I'm so glad that they're not in New York. because That's why no, you don't care about them. They are Is that in why New I don't York. care about because them? Because if they was in your face, you'd, be, you'd have probably talked about it the whole episode. No, like, they I can't are. Stand bitch, I would, I, I would have become York, a dual though. citizen to another country and left. <laughs> but they Those are sh- in New York, though. Where? They're just in I Long Island. They're, they're in, in Long places Island. with a lot of trees and yeah, grass. They're in, Long Island. they're in Central Park for sure. Yeah, they're in Central Wait, Park. Wait, for real? Yeah. Them big old things that's on the internet? First of all, they're here year round, but it's not a lot. So like summertime, nah, you always you always hear you ever heard a big bzz noise, but you don't know it's not a bee or nothing. It's Nigga, a that's a grasshopper. No, no it's a cicada. Oh. Cicada grasshoppers don't go. I bzz. ain't gonna hold you. The the way I've been <laughs> seeing these goddamn videos of people being a like all the cicadas is on them. So and I believe it's every twenty years. It's I looking think. like Joe's mm. apartment, and it's bothering me. Wow. <laughs> 
This wow, 2012. Wow. Oh, I know Joe's about Joe's apartment. apartment. For those of y'all listening who do not know Joe's apartment, that means apartment, you're too young you're and you need to go to a Gen Z podcast. Correct. But, but the way that they're just on these people, and it's it's like they have their own personalities because they is hanging out. But they on don't. You know they don't shoulders. sting. They don't do. They don't well, bite. Well, apparently None the thing is the reason why they're landing on people is because they can't see more than like 15 centimeters in front of them, so they just land wherever. So from what I know Look at is, this. oh my god, get this off the screen. Oh my god, I'm gonna start itching and shit. Oh. Oh, wow. No. From what I know is, I think it's like some type of, some hibernation or whatever it is, but it's years. And then every certain amount of years, then they come off and go. Some are still around, but I, I believe, I could be wrong. But the size of the ones that we see in now? Uh, no, the same size. They're, like, they're all this big. This shit, I've never grew up knowing about cicadas. First of all, I grew up with love bugs and the C- University of Central Florida Lady apparently bugs? made those love bugs. Lady What's bugs? Love, love bugs. bugs. Is that a ladybug? Love bugs. What's a love y'all don't bug? know what love bugs are? No. You didn't know what cicadas are. Oh my God. Were. Hey, y'all, can someone please come save me from this northern environment of New York City that don't know shit? Love bugs is a little two Yo, black bugs. You just told me you didn't know what a cicada was. Nigga, a cicada, that shit is like some dinosaur shit. That's why. That shit is not a yearly thing. <laughs> We ain't never dealt with this type of cicadas. I've never seen an alligator walk down the street. Okay, first off, I didn't see alligators. <laughs> but love bugs are those two little black bugs. And they're love bugs because there's two bugs stuck together and there's like a little orange dot on them. But they claimed that they was like an experiment that like now took over South Florida. Scream Man, can you Google love love, bugs? Because I'm confused. Scream Man, please pull up love bug. If you're from the South. This sounds like a Pixar DreamWorks production and I'm irritated. Look at the love bugs, bro. It's two bugs connected together. So their asses are connected. Yeah. <laughs> that just sounds like, I know why you love these bugs. Don't do that. <laughs> no, because the asses are connected. <laughs> it's also known as the honeymoon fly. During and after mating, matured pairs remain together even in flight Also for known as Mandy's spirit animal. So basically, <laughs> they, My so basically they do bugs. everything within penetration. Oh, they fly, they eat. <laughs> <laughs> they wonder chill. why you know about these bugs. <laughs> it's because what I'm age from is you? Florida. No, it's not. No, it is not. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. Screaming, can you please pull up Love Bug? There's a there's In a Florida. myth. Wait, wait, wait. Wow. Real quick, real quick. Because there is a myth that Love Bugs actually came as an experiment from the University of Florida, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> uh came as an experiment from UF, the University of Florida. It's like you're giving the internet to tell you exactly what you want. <laughs> Yo, there's a, there's a bug, then it fell on the street. Oh and <laughs> the love bug escaped lab experiment. See? Here it's we go. Crazy. Okay, wait, okay. Escape? Look, so look, okay. <laughs> yeah, how does a lab experiment escape? I'm not gonna lie. It's a bug. So, First of all, they didn't escape. They're still attacked. Okay, okay, I like So y'all look, of course, from Gainesville. So no, love no. bugs did not originate from the. Well, it was a myth that I was told in Florida. So yeah, since some they, mass, are, they you are. You just said a freaky ass bug, and you <laughs> so liked it. So the mass population of this bug is willingly attacked they, they think at the, the, at to the, the US. ass yeah, to the other bug. They fucking uh-huh. bugs. They fucking bugs. Fuck bugs. But what's crazy is, <laughs> fuck but what's crazy fuck is, bugs. when you in Florida or Georgia, <laughs> them motherfuckers fuck up your whole car because now you got splatter bugs all See, over your fucking. car. And they not leaving each other either. See what I'm saying? That's hey. that's love. <laughs> you wanted, we hey, wanted to know, you know what, what love was. Actually, this whole epi- no, that's you know, it. You know what it is? So if we gonna die on the windshield, we gonna die together. I'm love bugs thing. to cheek. This <laughs> thing inside. If love bugs had a goddamn TikTok, <laughs> it would be like, yep. That's my man, and I'm sticking by him. <laughs> oh, my you God. You know the video when they like, so you telling me that's your man, and it'd be the dude, Bobby be like, mm-hmm. that's him. That's, that's, him. Him. that's him. That's him. That's what a love bug is. <laughs> I'd rather those love bugs than Than cicadas. the cicadas, because the love bugs are little. Them cicadas. Cicadas are this big, but cicadas don't bite. They don't do they that They don't either. Shit. Love bugs They're don't. They're just too big. Love bugs I don't know. I, actually, I don't know what's worse, because. You see, see how they get on cars? There's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of cicadas them. Cicadas are big as shit. And you can smack the shit out of them. Not, not the, apparently. Did you not see the video of the guy with a water gun and the cicada was like hitting the water out the way? Them cicadas is real. Th- I really think Parks, it's every. I know you see this. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, video yeah, was Parks, crazy. I really think it's an every twenty year thing, man. I think it's something like that. I think it's something it's, like it's that. I'm thirty years. and I don't know shit about. So cicadas. what I'm saying because they live it's underground. Years. It might can be we, seventeen. I believe they live it's underground years. and then after the certain amount of years they come up. And they're only here for the, the season. And after that, well, when does up. the season leave? Probably the end of summer. They gotta go. 
You this shit is nasty. Yet. Now I can't go to DC and get the no cica- dick. Hold on. DC is crazy. Yeah, the DC cicada. The cicada will stay underground from two, two to, to seventeen years, years depending on the species. <laughs> no. Cicadas are active underground, tunneling and feeding, and not sleeping or hibernating as commonly thought. After the long two to seven years, <laughs> cicadas emerge from the ground as nymphs. Nymphs climb the nearest available nymphs are vertical. Sexual beings. That's a nympho. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, just vertical the surface. Just the hole is crazy. Just the hole. Usually a plant. <laughs> and see. begin to shed their nymph exoskeleton. Free of their old skin, their wings will inflate with fluid and their adult skin will harden. Once their new wings and body are ready, they can begin their brief adult life. I don't like Damn. them being adults. They could go back to be children underground. Fuck them kids. <laughs> Why did they have to grow up? <laughs> The this kids. is the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> some fucking bullshit. Anyway, moving on to television. Moving on. What because we are getting shows? out of here, guys. Thank you for the what church service. What are some good shows? The like these hoes these days. When they see you got a little sunny. Just... Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Get him out of here. Don't do that. Hey, Tasha, me. Get him off. Don't... Get him off. <laughs> Look, they didn't want me before. Oh, that's Cicadas what was waiting 17 years. They that's, hopped out like, oh. I hate you. Got a little bread. <laughs> it, took y'all, it, t- it took niggas 17 years to get some bread. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, as, as, uh, hello? As long as, as, long as being, I got if it. If we're keeping it a stack. You wasn't complaining about that dinner. Hey. <laughs> it took 17 years it took hey, to hey, pay for chill, that. Chill, chill, chill. That flight. Chill. <laughs> I mean, let you tell yeah. it. They pay for their own flight. I mean, let me tell it. We not telling my story. Tell her story. <laughs> <laughs> So I just I know for real TV though what are you TV, watching TV Ryan? um yeah what are you watching so What's the call show I said um was homie from Saturday Night Live Michael Che Michael that that show is fire um I'm watching what's the shit uh the the network is that what it's called the, not the network the uh the startup startup, startup. Everyone Finish has that. said the startup. A lot of people are watching that. Everyone is it good? said it. Yeah, I finished the startup. Okay, I gotta I got, watch it. I got drunk I when I started it and couldn't get past it. I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm really excited started. as shit for season two of C. Me too. Mm. I'm excited. Because you know that? what? Jason Momoa what can play Kyle Drago in oh, wait, every Jason single Momoa's movie in it? for so the rest of his life. And I'm cool. But but not as Aquaman? No, 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 no. But same type of. First of all, he's not in the water. He fine. He's not in the water. He could be on the ground too. You know he's broke living in a car. He thought his life was going to... He was doing a couple acting shits, then he did Game of Thrones. I'm sad. I ain't he didn't gonna, have no bread. He got I Game w- of Thrones. He thought it was over and they killed him the first season. I would have moved that nigga in. He was... Right. He married to what's her name? I don't care. She could have moved in too. Lisa Bonet, right? I would have took wife. both of them in. God damn. That is... He could fuck up my but, pH as Aquaman. I swear oh, to God. So, right. Go so what's it called? It's about... There was a... Uh, <laughs> there was a... What's it called? Um, what's the shit when the world almost... And when it ends. Apocalypse. 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 And everybody in the world is blind. They wake up. Is that way awake? See. No, see. On Apple TV. Everybody Apple in the Plus. world, everybody in the whole world is blind, except there's a couple people that can see and they call them like witches and shit like that. So he's blind, but they've been blind for decades. So it's like the way they fight, it's all by their ears. Like the wars are like yeah, they're they can't using see. all their other senses other than being their able senses to see. OD. So they'll be like this close to each other's face in yeah. a war. What streaming platform is this on? Apple TV. Apple Plus. Okay, yeah. so the, if the I don't really, have an Apple TV, I can't watch it. Um, no, no, no! It's Apple Plus. Apple Plus. You so get you just Apple have Plus to. It's like it's like six dollars a month. I'll give you my login. Please, anyway, bitch, I'll give you my login. When I say fire, it's um, amazing. Fire. It's amazing. But also, it's really dope because the only two people on the show that can see are, are two young black kids and the pops oh, wow. and the pops. Black. Yeah, it's fire. It's fire. It's a fire. good show. I mean, y'all really didn't have to sell me on it past Jason Momoa. All I right. promise you. Well, it's a great this, show. This, this was starving Jason Momoa. I'm gonna Momoa, get into. I'm gonna get into the startup because I haven't watched the startup. A lot of people are. The shy we talk about, I, we talk about every week. Um, y'all um, know I love me some motherfucking reality TV, mm. so I won't deep dive into it because it's only on episode one. But BET presents the encore with all of the. <laughs> <laughs> with all, I gotta watch this. When I Yo, tell you, Swiss, it's so good. Tim, I told you about this versus wait, boy. Wait, <laughs> they will do they it. They will do it. When they I tell you, it's it. so good. But Aubrey also, O'Day, Aubrey O'Day oh, looks Aubrey, crazy. Aubrey looks crazy. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Lanisha from 702. The girl from Black. Isn't she married? Who is she married? She Shamari, married to um. What's his name uh, from Dev? What, what Dev, promises? Dev. Promises. What's her name? Kyle. Uh, Kyle. Kaylee. Kaylee. Huh? But Kaylee. Uh, Kaylee. Shamari is married to Bev Div. Devo, whatever. Why do they make it look, look crazy? Look so look crazy. crazy. So the crazy thing is about, there was no makeup. I can't. Wait, not only is Cosine on here, Elijah is also Hold on, on here. Cosine's on here. 
You didn't see Co Sign just see now him. in the studio? So, I'm weak. So Co Sign. <laughs> it's a check. It's a check. So I got to talk about this shit. Get so it, your money. So it's Co Sign and Elijah who are on they here. They got the Pam from Total. Elijah, Elijah? Elijah, that, that <laughs> all of y'all cracked on that was overseeing. Hosted, from, hosted by Cedar from Cedar's World? Yes. You know what's so crazy? So they got her uh, an updated BBL? But you know, you know what's crazy? Is it still animated? It's good. It's animated. Small, small sidebar. My stepmom's like best friend is the voice of Cedar. So I've known her since I was younger. Up. And I didn't know it till I like, love it. I mean, I met my stepmom when I was younger, but when I moved out to California, I was like 15. So when I got introduced to her, she was like, Ryan, you remember Cedar's world? I'm like, yeah, I was young. She was like, this is the voice. She started doing it. I was like, then I looked at her, she's really Cedar in real life. You know what's crazy? If I were to ever do a voiceover, it would need to be me as as like a Cedar's world type of Sims character. I can see mm. you do that shit. Though. You already I know. Too. Right? I could be like, Hey y'all! Welcome that's to fire. see the thing is y'all already know what it is. My that's booty hole is leaky because I just had some anal sex, <laughs> but I'm here. No, oh, okay. What network? <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with this? Digital space. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. The streaming platform. Pornhub. This Sirius is giving. XM. Yeah. Like, Pornhub. This is giving. No, bitch. If, if Sirius could have Jude, I could go on Sirius. Okay. But as a cartoon selling sex is a little crazier. You might need um, a. You so might need a. It's giving HBO to me. Mm, okay, I like that. It's okay. giving HBO. Now we're thinking money. We're it's thinking money. <laughs> Keep it going, <laughs> money. <laughs> but what, what's crazy is you have all of these women. Uh, what's crazy is the girls, the twins from Cherish, came in really uh, thinking they was that girl. And but you also see something that we said very uh, early on in this show. Well, women ever unite? Probably not. And you see a lot of ego checking. You see a lot of women just seeing each other as immediate competition, but also just p pinning themselves against the other women that are in the room without respecting the other women in the room. Right. So it's it's really interesting just to to see the dynamics of all the women. Um, and I I love good mess on TV, so shout yeah, out. I saw a, good, I saw I a snippet of this when um, the girl from 3LW was talking to yes. the one from, she was in? Yeah. She, she was, was in Destiny's show? Yeah, Farrah. Uh, Far and Farrah must be introduced later because she wasn't in the first episode. All I know is they had a conversation and Shorty was like, yo, we got platinum records. She's like, we do too. She was like... You weren't even there. She was like, did you even <laughs> sing on those songs? Oh, Jesus She Christ. was like, I actually, she was like, ah. I was, she was like, I was in three groups that... Shamari is married to... Um, Biv to, Dev to one, one of the of guys from... That's all, yeah, that's from all Kelly... No, X on that no. too. She looked just like her. Oh dear. Well, stop Either it. way, that's Yo, one of the girls. This is an interesting look, show. Look, look. I um. You no, you're talking about Pam. You're talking about Pam from Total. She don't look you're, like her. You're talking about Pam from Total. Why should she pop up? She don't look like her. Oh, okay, dear. calm down. Not all of us look alike. Oh, Thank God. you. For, <laughs> no, no. That she, she actually pop up she yet. actually looks like Usher's ex, Tamika Foster. She didn't pop up yet. Um, right there. She don't. No, no. She don't. The one that was on Love and Hip Hop. I know who you're talking about. And I don't think she was on Love and Hip Hop. No. That's what was. No. No. What show was she on? Surviving uh -huh. R. Kelly. No. Oh. <laughs> no. She was. On, she was on like. She, I think she, she was on basketball. I mean, uh, no. let me. She, she was, was on, on Hollywood like, Wives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of them. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Anyway, um, y'all know. I know. I love. There's Resident another. TV. There's another season of Lupin on Netflix. I don't know if y'all get into shows that have subtitles. You can actually do an, an English overdub, so you don't have to read the French, the subtitles, and listen For to what? it in French. For sure? Lupin. Oh, the second season. Yeah, the I second part is out. See you. Second you know, part I'm is on, out. You know, I'm up to date. Love Lupin. That's a really great show. Um, it's a, it's on Netflix. I started watching Sweet Tooth. Not really I a did fan. It. I watched it. Is it good? I got through the first episode and I was like, this is going to make me cry for no reason at all. So it's, I don't know. It's cool. Oh, there's some show on, I don't know what the network is, but it's about a, it's about a show in Brooklyn. Some in oh, Flatbush Misdemeanors. Woo, fire. 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 Gotta watch fire. Flatbush Misdemeanors. Fire. It's on Stars, maybe? Run the World is also really great. I do want to shout out Brisha Webb because I love that show. Run the World is a phenomenal show. And I, I've always been a fan of Brisha on and off screen, but watching... Watching Run the World kind of be portrayed similarly in, in some parallels to a black version of Sex in the City, I think is really, really okay. dope. And they're tackling some really dope issues that I think women, black women especially, tackle oh, on a daily I'm basis a, I'm in relationships. Say less. Um, yeah, Sweet Tooth, I tried. Sweet Tooth was, it was I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I wish going. you grew up a little faster. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna get into the next episode. It's, it's all, as soon as it. I saw Deer. I just wasn't interested. I wish it was like a line or something more exciting. We know, because you I don't even you fuck with the turtles. Horns. <laughs> I'm horny. But no, I don't like horns. Sorry. Next, we know we're about to get out of here. Y'all are like, oh my God, y'all are about as long as the Titanic movie. Oh my God. Or. Um, or what? What else is going on? Okay. I, <laughs> oh, you're long? You down no, to your stop. knee? Oh, sorry. My straws. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, your straws. 
Eco oh. Gave. <laughs> um, before we get out of here, I did want uh, Bridget to speak about her sentiments uh, specifically, also as well as what I've seen on social media regarding the heights. As someone who has lived in Ooh, New York baby. for the last eight years. Y'all, of course we waited till the end till I had too much wine. <laughs> Uh, you can go ahead and tell your shit, and, and and you can edit if you feel like you get too extreme. I don't want to edit. I just okay. want to. I do. I don't want to edit. Okay. I'm not going to edit this. Okay. I do want to say. Thoughts. Um, and scene. First of all, I want to applaud the Root, which is a um, a journalism and, and media outlet, news outlet that conducted an interview with the director, with one of the, the casting director of In the Heights. And for those of you who are not familiar, In the Heights is a musical. Um, that was initially an, an on-Broadway production by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who also is responsible for Hamilton. Um, Hamilton is his most prized production. He did What was the other thing that he did, right? He was in She's Gotta Have It. Yes, he was in She's Gotta he Have It, was. yes. But he... Um, he was Mars. He was also in... He um, was Mars. The, he was in another the golden. Movie. He was also in another TV show. That, it was the. It was well. the gold. It was another. It was the Golden Compass. Um, mm, I know what you're talking about. Too. Uh, spinoff that was on HBO. He was He's in doing that his as thing. well. These past two, three years? is doing really great. Um, but in the Heights is um, a very a, a, a very well well done, well produced, well written musical about um, immigrants Im- immigrant mm-hmm. Latin Americans in Washington Heights in New York City for those of y'all who are not in New York and are not familiar um, and the questions that were posed during this interview that The Root conducted were regarding the lack of Afro-Latina and Afro-Latino representation um, in the film and the fact that of course it being not just about Dominican heritage but also Puerto Rican heritage Colombian Cuban heritage as well there were really no one. Uh, there was no one with any 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 abundance of melanin in this film, aside mm. from the guy who played Dr. Dre from <laughs> Straight Outta Compton. Um, he was he played somebody Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if he played somebody 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 Latin. He he was in the film, but either way, neither here nor there. Those of us that are from New York, those of us that have ever stepped foot on Dykeman, are very aware of the the shades the dark shades of melanin that exists in the Latin community that were not represented in this film. And when the, when the casting director was asked about it, his retort was that, well, yeah, there's John Chu, I think was who was, who they interviewed. And the, the response was, oh yeah, well, there were a lot of black people that auditioned. It wasn't that we didn't have <laughs> Yo, just, black crazy. people that auditioned. No block looks like that night. There's just no, no black, there's no, no black Me representation no black. whatsoever in this film, which is not really an adequate depiction of the uh, of the the culture that exists in Washington Heights, right? Which also continues to feed the notion that uh, that that there is a, a, st- a still very much a very existent, ever present divide um, and colorism and colorism space that exists in the Latin community and between the Latin and Black community. And I think I think you know the it's it's worth listening to the interview that the Root conducted because I think they asked really prominent questions that really only prove the fact that they picked a lot of actors aside from um what's the main actor's name? Do we have the main I want to pull his name up because I always get his name wrong. Scream Man. Scream Man can you I think it's an- I, I want to say it's Anthony Ramos, but I don't want to get it wrong. Um, um main 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 character in In the Heights. My my issue with not only the casting of this, but what could have been an amazing Anthony, conversation. It is it is um Anthony, I believe it is Anthony Anthony Ramos. Anthony Ramos. Do we click on it? He plays Usnavi. It's the first one. Oh yeah, yeah. the first Can one. Can you click Usnavi? Click. Yeah. Here we go. Yes, yep. Anthony Ramos. So Anthony Ramos is a phenomenal actor. If y'all if y'all watched um, what's the name of the, the Nola Spike Darling? Lee joint? Spike Mark, Lee. Mark Anthony in it. No, they got Diva, they got it. one, they got Jimmy, Meryl Jimmy in it. Smith, Jimmy Smith is in it. Meryl um, is in it. They got the what? girl from. Uh, oh yeah, Mark I Anthony. guess Mr. De La Vega. Yeah, Orange is the New Black. They have um, a lot of of Hispanic. Yeah, I think I think the the objection to a lot of this is the fact that we talk we always talk about the importance of representation and you know as much as as much as we try to harp on the fact that there are. That there is such an abundant, a beautiful abundance of Afro Latino people that exist in this culture and and contribute to this culture in various ways. The fact that there's no representation in this film is really disheartening. Um, regardless of the the quality of the music and the acting, uh, yeah, it is it is really disappointing. But I would I would recommend everybody listen to that interview because John Chu literally tells on himself in the interview, and it's not just only does he crazy. tell on himself. I just think it was a. a 
a, a huge miss on an opportunity when yeah. literally the conversation right now has been talked and Afro Latinas have been brought to the forefront in the conversation and how they're treated in their own community. And if, especially if you grew up in New York City, you understand how prominent the Afro Latino com yes, community is, absolutely. whether it's Cuban, whether it's Dominican, whether it's Colombian, Honduran, um, Panamanian, any any number of Central American, Latin American countries that really could have been represented in this film that were that were overlooked. And it's it's just unfortunate that we continue to 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 have these colorism conversations around you know, black and brown people when in fact there is, there is such a beautiful, a beautiful mix and an array of colors that deserve, deserve every opportunity and every shot to be represented in, in, yeah. in platforms like this. I feel like they definitely dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had a perfect opportunity to make something great mm -hmm. and they, and not saying what they made isn't great, but it's not us. Right. And I'm not even Hispanic, but I understand what the Heights is. And Absolutely. I how the people me up too. there are dark. Me too. Dykeman. If they ever me. spent any time like, uptown. The, their their yes. skin is darker than me and they're Correct. full Dominican. And it's like Correct. the fact that y'all had a chance to go get those type of people and saying y'all couldn't find them or they did, like I don't understand what the, what the or issue to, or could to, possibly to, be. To try to, to, try to, to, try to <laughs> validate the lack of representation by saying, well, there were plenty that auditioned. So plenty to so plenty audition and no one and made no the one cut. Made I think it's just it's just pushing the agenda that all Hispanic people, especially the are white stuff, passing are, are, yes. are linear yes. and yes. they all look the, the same. Or the white passing, which is a problem too, because if you know anything about the Dominican uh the the Republic of Dominica, that's really what it's like. <laughs> yes, the Republic of Republic. Well, I, Dominican well, Republic, the, yes. Well, the, Republic, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know when you stand. Say, I know you've been there, too. I, I get it. Well, I wanted to say that. Yeah, but there's also another country. Well, well, there's well, there's, well, I, I there's also Dominica. another country called Dominica. Yeah. That, is, that is yes. a whole different But, but I'm talking, I say that to say also because they share, and there was nothing but a border of governments that attached right. them to Haiti. Right. And I say that to say. Through the Panama Canal. Exactly. So. So the diaspora of of shades of Dominicans does go as far as 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 dark as, as dark, dark as skin you can, can be. Yeah. And so I do hate that that was not represented in in this type of film. We know it's an issue. Yeah. We know it's something when there's a lot of Dominicans that be like, "Oh, I'm not black," and right. they're darker than us. And it's like, you sure, oh, bro? No, no, one hundred percent. I ain't gonna hold you, and we're not gonna get into it. But that's why no, I don't like them saying the n word. But the but the fact but is, yes. the fact is that somebody could be like, "Oh, you're black," and you're like, "No, I'm not black. I'm I'm, Dom I'm I'm Dominican." And then you could look at this show, which is where they live, and to not see one of their faces one portrayed their faces, as right. even is is crazy. Yeah. So good job, but y'all dropped the ball. They yeah. dropped the the, the full ball. Um, I do want to say, goddamn, uh, this is almost just shy of what the movie Titanic is. But Ryan, I want to thank you for joining us. Ryan, we love you <laughs> so much. Week. Man, I'm just, just happy damn. to be here, you know? Thank make sure you make sure you check out the Guys Next Door podcast, even though only one guy next door is. Never mind. I'm be quiet. <laughs> only because only one loves us and that's why he's here. But we that's love you, it. Ryan. We love you so much. Listen. Listen to my podcast. Yeah, guys please. Next door. Listen to Guys Next Door. It's a, it's, a, it's a good pod. It's a good pod. If you're in Tulum, hit up Black Tulum. Hit up yes. Yacht Club Company. Absolutely. If you're in Starbucks, tell Starbucks they need to invest in Eco Gave. Yes, please. Yes. I got some other shit Say coming that. out, but we don't need to talk about that. We need to talk about shit. Well, yeah, because Ryan said apparently like he'll be here once a month. I'm like Ray J. I'm going to have my products <laughs> every week. And by, by, if you in LA, make sure you make sure I you cop some good Viola green. I got, yo, Viola, we here. You see me, I'm merched up. I got a skincare <laughs> line. I got a skincare line, skin line It's already done. Ryan, I gotta, I mean, yo. As we speak, my soaps are settling in my crib. They it ain't got, got your nut over. in it, does it? You're not out here giving facials, do you? How did we get? Know, how do we sorry. always arrive here? <laughs> because facials do actually, it's good for your skin. Well, thank I you guys so much for tuning in every week. We want to shout out our YouTubers. We want to shout out our, our fans on Twitter, our followers yes. who engage with us every week and tell us about ourselves every week. Mandy and I love each other despite the crazy faces despite, I make every time she opens her mouth. I, I do want y'all to know. Bridget and I I hang out. We are neighbors. in real life. We hang out like almost every day. So people we are be like, Thelma and Louise. Are you gonna let Mandy live this week? And I'm like, No. Bridget, <laughs> and I'm Bridget, like, but no. also Bridget is fully accepting of who I am, and she's just I like, love Mandy, bitch, that really just came out your mouth. I mean, Ryan was, <laughs> I know, I get it. The first, <laughs> right? You gotta understand the first time I met. Don't do this. Every time pe people come on and say the first time they met, like, me, it's not good. <laughs> but why because, does that? Happen? And <laughs> and I, not saying it wasn't good because. But I'm I won't say it wasn't. Person. I won't say it was bad because you were you. I'm always and it's me. like, yo, I can't be mad at somebody who's not dumb. But then I'm like, <laughs> there go, there go that honesty. We love Look, honesty. We do. said the like, same thing. Imagine like, this: I'm, when I have my surgery and I'm in the hospital bed, and Wheezy comes to the hospital to see me, and one of my like aunts like 
goddaughters or whatever, like family friend <laughs> sees Weezy and is like, oh my God. And then they go tell my aunt, and then my aunt goes listen to the. I'm like, yo, this is a world. <laughs> See, that has nothing to do with me. Uh, has nothing to do with me. Oh, but it's like I love y'all, and it's I showed up. I showed up. Y'all, we love you so much. Yo, y'all are y'all, and I can't knock y'all for being y'all selves. And, and also, I Bridget it. allows me to be me I here do. on this pod. That's my bitch. But also, and I'll fight. I'll fight any one of y'all bitches for not me. only that. Try we me thought, if you we want to. Frat, bitch, what's the <laughs> throw them hands, hope? If you think you go, no, I'm just like you know she put Vaseline on her face. I did in the past. I don't bother. I'm too light skinned. It's gonna land. It's gonna, I'm, it's gonna land. <laughs> it's gonna, gonna land. make sure it's, the it's first gonna one gonna go. Come it's go. gonna leave a mark. And here's the thing: I'm I'm a masochistic fighter. So to me, it's like I almost want you to hurt me a little bit because I'm a, I'm I'm, I'm really gonna put up. you. I'm gonna put you near turn death. I need that. I need that extra spark. And that's why you know I don't like saying? to fight because I know myself. I know myself. I'll be like this. You know what? I'm not gonna do nothing. It's like but I almost I want that, that, that will, wake up, you know? that wake up, that <laughs> shot. That no, like, oh shit! I'm when I tell you, when I we tell you, in. when I tell you at this point, motherfuckers is lucky. I have too much to lose. That's what, and that's what it is for me. But I way, know somebody that doesn't been, have a lot to lose. But the way shit been going, if I didn't have a lot to lose. A bitch would have been swinging and spitting on these motherfuckers. Yeah, okay. y'all got y'all got to stop inviting me to things where y'all know there's bitches I don't like. <laughs> I need y'all to stop doing. That's that. That's why we were not at that Diddy party. All right, no, sorry. Yeah, 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 Anyways, yeah, we're guys, cutting that we're gonna yeah. go ahead and yeah. no, Joe, Joe was there, bitch. Everybody was there. Anyways, guys, shout I, out I to see the thing is that was Young Blue and Chris Brown and Two Chains. If y'all don't know, check it out. That's some new music for you too. We love y'all. We'll we see wait. y'all next week. We will see Peace. y'all next week.